Oh, looks delicious. Yeah, man. I went to the slim expands, and I'm no idea what the fuck this is. What, what the fuck does they forget? I'm gonna assume remember means uh, load. But forget. I guess that kind of makes sense in new game. Like you're forgetting able to. Need to Never played watch this. Oh, you haven't? Cool. So you're both blind in this. Hell yeah, let's go. But, uh, was this the one that was, uh, fucking, when did Delirium happen again? Let me, let me just look that up. I think Delirium was happening between episode 1 and 2. Or was it happening after episode 2? Let me see. Delirium. Let me show Let me see. Let's read the synopsis. Someone between episode 1 and episode 2. Okay, okay. So maybe it'll show us why she stopped taking pills. By the way, that's one thing that I... Did the game ever mention, like, why she was taking pills? Like... I feel like I missed something, maybe. Like, she suddenly just uh, said that she stopped taking the pills, and she didn't... Like, at the end of the first game, everything seemed normal, you know, because she took the pills, you know? So it made me think, oh, she's got schizophrenia or something, but then it was never brought up again, so I was kind of confused, but... Uh, unsure, but there was a time skip, so a lot of cool that happened. Yeah, maybe it'll be explained here. So this is like a half an hour long, I think, so... Uh, yeah, what? Let's just, let's just jump right into it. But uh, yeah, just, just tell me if the music is, or the, the game sounds too loud or too, too low. Uh, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. Forget, let's forget everything. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Okay, that spooked me. Hello there. I'm Charlotte, please take care of me. What the fuck? Ha <laughs> You didn't fall for that, did you? Mr. Set, or should I say... Mr. Anonymous? Ah, oh, shit, they got me. I am Anonymous from 4chan. Haha. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this is too fun. These noises, yeah, same. In this world, you can't even tell me apart from the girl herself. Too bad, huh? Wait, what? Is my camera, like, uh, being unfocused again? Hold up. I think my camera is... Hold up, let me just remove this. Hold up, I'll uh, fix that. Hopefully I can fix it. Fuck yeah, what did I just press? God fucking damn it. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. What? Why the fuck did my ca webcam just do that? Yeah, activate. There we go. Okay, hopefully it won't do that again. Webcam, stop. Okay, anyway. Let's call this place an alternate universe. Ooh. It's not even related to the main storyline in any way. Or is it though? Maybe this? Here, there is no such thing as set. You see, the thought of a kind, understanding parent figure never occurred to Charlotte of this timeline. Ironically, she still keeps talking to herself all the time. Come now, let's see what the world without you looks like. Oh no. Aren't you excited? Hello world, I live in the house. For me, the house is the world. In the house, we can't speak of the house's tenants. In the house, we can't touch the screens. In the house, we can't disturb our neighbors. But above all that, we can't leave the house. It's the unspoken absolute rule. To be honest, I couldn't care less about those rules anymore, anyway. With the Oracle's power, all I have to do is to eat all the things that stand in my way. Wait, what? Is, is that why she looked like... She, for, I, I, th I thought, like, when I first saw the picture of her holding, like... Wait, so with the puppet there, does this mean she doesn't respawn? Good question. Maybe it's like uh, in episode 3, you know? But, uh, what was I thinking about now? Yeah, but in the picture uh, in the front page, or the front, front thing, it looked like she was gonna eat pancakes, but uh, apparently she's gonna eat anything that stands in her way. Like, what the fuck? Human pancakes. Looks like she's sleeping under the bed again. What the fuck is that room? Mounting brain activity, no regulation so far. Jesus Christ, now the sound fucking loud as fuck. Good turn that shit down. At least for me. Let me see. One thing brain activity, no, re no irregularity so far. What do you think, November? Should we replace her liver with triple burger cheese melt while she sleeps? Is that like a prank? Replacing her liver with triple burger cheese melt while she's sleeping, is that like a prank? Like an improvised joke? Like, haha. At the degree, August. Won't her kidneys make a better test subject? It's time to go. It's kind of creepy. I wake up feeling perfectly fine. Oh my god, it's the Mackett! Woo! Mackett! Meow! 
Good morning, Mad Cat. You must be hungry. What do I feed you? I wonder. Ah, uh, I know. I have some cockroaches stored in the fridge. Meow. Hmm. But am I not controlling it now, technically? Oh my god, look at her. She looks like... She looks like a little mischief. Mischief. Hey, cockroaches aren't negative emotions. Good point. M maybe, it's, maybe it's just pretending. Maybe it's just pretending to eat the cockroaches to suck the life out of Charlotte. Uh, okay, now, now it says different things. Run, memory, things. Okay, what's things? Book of friends. Everyone is my friend. Let's see. Everyone is my friend. Henry is my friend. She knows a lot of swear words and knows when to use them. Henry is very smart. I don't think somebody is, is smart just because they know when to use swear words, but okay. Felix is my friend. He's great at putting poison into my tea. I never know this. Sick prank ball. Bennett is my friend. He excels at cutting bodies in half. He taught me how to gouge out eyes with a spoon. Cool, that might come in handy. Hershley is my friend. He tries to get his hands on my on my friends to perform experiments on them. But I stop him every time. I know he's nice at heart. Yeah, man. Aiden is my friend. He makes the best tea. I never see him around lately. Umbrella Man is my friend. I love him very much. He's my friend and brother and sister and father and mother and villain and... God of this world. Oh, God of this world is my friend. I call him Cruel God. The Oracle is my friend. I put an end to the world. Scarlet Islander is not my friend. But you are Scarlet Islander though. You are Scarlet Islander. Uh, let me see. Kaka... What the fuck? We have Scarlet already, huh? Mm -hmm. Kaka ya kavad. What the fuck? Oh, I'm supposed to read it backwards, no? Like, what the fuck? Kaka ya kavad. Travis are my favorite toys. I just realized the room is more decorative without me. The bed is sloppily made. Green color is my least favorite. Why is it near my bed, I wonder? I don't mind, it's your room, man. I've lost count on the times it had to be soon sewn back together. Poor little Peter Rabbit. I just don't know where to start, do I? <laughs> Yellow is my favorite color. It reminds me of Umbrella Man. Why is it all the way over here, then? Orange is nice, too. The drawer is full of moldy white bread pieces. <laughs> the bacterial colony that I've been racing in the drawers is do doing well. I don't really read books, to be honest, but they bring them here anyway. Alright. Find a way to raise insects at home. Wait, oh yeah, I was supposed to go to the refrigerator, right? I think, let me see. Keys, okay, now it says keys. Memory, is that saving? What are 16 saving sl slots? Like, is there any point in saving her? Like... Omnicubes refuse to talk to me. Why is it, I wonder? I wonder why. The Omnicubes refuse to talk to me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did say something different? Why is it, I wonder? Why is it, I wonder? Indeed, indeed. You may wonder as much as you want, Mrs. Uh, Miss uh, Charlotte. Oops, I put the wrong button. The storage room is locked. Oh, now the TV room is there. Uh, can I check the TV? I'm sorry about what I did to Freya and his drones. Ah, right, right, there were drones and stuff. It's so much fun with Freya in another dimension. Mm -hmm. uh, the screen won't let me in. TV is boring. The channel dimension was fun. I don't know why, but she kind of seems soulless. Hmm. Let's see, that seems early for when this takes place. Wait, what? Perhaps. I don't know why, I just... I feel like she's kind of soulless at this point, I don't know. I might be wrong though. Scarlet being mentioned. Ah, right, right, right. That seems early for when this takes place. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. It's a toilet. Can't take a shit. We never run out of the toilet paper. We never run out of the toilet paper. I like that it says the toilet paper. It doesn't say we never run out of toilet paper, but the toilet paper. Does that mean that it's just one single toilet paper that never runs out? That would be been amazing, man. Just an infinite toilet paper. The mirror never shows what I want to see. Do you not want to see yourself? I checked the bath bathtub. No, okay. Wait, does she not have a shower? I just realized. There's no shower. There's only a bathtub. All right, not sure. Okay. No acid vomiting, but true, true. Anyway, let's uh, check the fridge. Got cockroach. Cockroaches. Let's go. The last time I used the oven. Well, it's better not to talk about it. What is the serial killer in the fridge again? It remains a mystery. Serial killer? Is that like... 
a type of cereal. A kitchen sink and a trash bin beneath it. The insects seem to have a kingdom of their own in the cabinets. Cool. Bon appetit! Heav heavily disappointed. Meow! Heavily disappointed? Why? Why though? Is it because uh, it can't suck my emotions? Or oh, Charlotte's negative emotions? Ah, it's time for the obligatory TV watching session. Let's go. That's a good name for Cyril, wow. Yeah, good point, Cyril Killer. That's a good name. One of the have. There's probably someone in the US who are selling it locally, like uh, Cyril Killer. Let me see. This stuff looks pretty nasty. I feel so bad you have to eat it, my cat. Wait, she knows. She knows it looks disgusting, but she feeds it. Mac at anyway, okay, okay. That's uh, animal abuse. Animal abuse, anyone? What the fuck is this room? I wonder what this gooey mess on the floor is. Uh, it's uh, pliers, tongue terrors, torture tools, galore. The workers store. The workers store their hazmat suits in here. In there. If I put it on, I'll be able to sneak past them. Oh my god, I can sneak. Milger. All clothes, body bags. Bennett keeps his ROM cartridge games in here. The meat inside is rotten. Eat it. Eat it. I feel like saving is a good idea. Perhaps. Perhaps. Let's save. Let's save. Ah, I should probably just save every other. Let me see. Anyway, can I go in here? <gasps> I can! Oh, right, the room's. Let me just look. Can I go in here? I won't go out. If I do, bad things happen. What the fuck? That's kind of ominous. Anyway, let's, uh, it's a morgue room. Okay, I can't go in there. Red room. I actually forbid me from entering this room. Wait, red room. Okay. What, what in here? Hmm, this is different now. Are they killing me? You're not one of us. Oh, they... The Jesus Christ, this is a fucking killer. Okay, remember... You just got that fucking laughter. I forgot about that laughter. In the first game, it had like this creepy laughter. But okay, so we can't go in there because we're, we're not wearing the hazmat suit thing. This all leads to the incineration room. Alright, let's uh, let's go and look at the TV. Because why not? I want to watch TV. Wait, what was in here again? Okay, not in there. Cool. Anyway, let's... Uh Save and uh, let's sit down and watch TV is boring, but channel damage was fun. Scream won't let me in. That's so much fun with Treya. So about what I did to Wait, wasn't I supposed to watch TV? Did she not mention that she was probably gonna watch TV? Try the mode? Yeah, but I oh, do I have to stand like this? There we go. It doesn't work. Strange. Oh, oh. that's creepy. Hmm, I think I've heard I heard footsteps, but fear not. I'm not going there unarmed. After all, I've got my hands on the medical scissors. No one can guess where I've hidden them. Do, do I have... I can't see the... I can't see the... The scissors. Wait, do I go and look, try to look for whoever prank, is pranking me? Can I have a Okay. I'm gonna go and look for the imposter. Or maybe I'm the imposter. Technically, I am. Okay, so I'm wearing the yellow ribbon. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Or can I, or can I steal the hazmat suit now? Call it now, they're in a the stuffed toy. Oh shit. So why could you store the hazmat suit in there? If we're not able to sneak past them. Can I, can I not get the hazmat suit? Or do I have to go this way? Okay. Let's, uh, let's save. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I can't go in there. Wait, do I just go to bed? For some reason I can't go in there again. That's weird. Oh, let's uh... Hehe, <laughs> they're right under my bed, hiding among all the monsters beneath it. Oh, I need to get the scissors, right. I thought it was a person hiding there. <laughs> I was close. I, I, yeah, but I was thinking, I didn't think about the scissors. I, I thought she was hiding the scissors from even us, the puppeteer, you know. Puppeteers. But uh, she was hiding the scissors, I see. Scissors are cut through everything, even life itself. Eh, uh, that's true. Can I cut up the green uh, teddy bear? Just because I can, you know? What puppeteer? Uh, 
us set, you know. Like I, I, I was thinking that uh, she was hiding the scissors in in the menu itself, you know, from us, the puppeteers. We don't exist in this world. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I guess we don't. I guess we don't. I, I, I was, uh, I was wrong. The door is open. Someone's, a, someone is inside the house. Uh oh. I won't go out if I do bad things happen. Uh oh. Imposter alert. Where is... Uh... Wait. Okay, never mind. Turns out something. So let's see the incineration room. Red room, it's open. Oh, enter the red room. Ooh. Let's go. Hello. Can I stab someone? Hello. What's the person I'm supposed to stab? I wanna stab. Pick inside. There are torture tools inside. There's a collection of Huxley's masks inside. My hands touch something sticky. Ew. What? Is it a bubble gun? The only report papers inside. Hmm. I see someone there, but let me just... Got Huxley's keys from the storage room. Nice! He always leaves them here. What the fuck is this? There are videos on the floor. They're whimpering and mumbling incoherent words. When, when I ate the oracle, I took some videos home with me. Actually, must be keeping these videos on drugs for research purposes. They're barely conscious. Oops, they said all that out loud. Someone enters the red room. So you enter the red room. Apparently, this is where I keep my livestock. Oh, there's music. What were we in this room before? I don't fucking know. We haven't been there before. You know, little one, I should hope you'd keep the promise we made together. Seems like I was wrong about you. Remember what I said that day? No one comes back from the red room. Uh oh. And you're no exception. The door closes behind me, actually. Uh oh. It's locked. Uh oh. Can I just hide with the bodies? Uh oh. Let's just. Don't budge. Cool. Did I just run past him? Where the fuck did he go? Jesus, God, there he goes. I accidentally ran past him. <laughs> but what? How am I supposed to uh, stab him? It's open. But yeah, we have, I don't think we've been in this room before. Like, we weren't earlier, so... Super conscious. Oops. Oh, oh. Oh, I need to use the... Uh, wait. Keys. Oh, do I have to use the key on that? I'm, I'm getting weird flashbacks in this room. Now it's the first one. Oh, fucking no man. Oh, there he got me. Okay, me. I'm not sure if that was a puzzle. I don't remember it being one though. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, okay, okay. So that that's why we we don't have any tasks because we got keys now instead. Okay, okay we ran past them. Come on. Uh! What? Can I not use the key? What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to interact with him, like. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, chill. Chill, man. Chill, chill, chill. I'm supposed to hide there somewhere. No? What the fuck did I do? Oh, chill, chill. What the f- Uh, yeah, so there we are. Check if he responds him. Oh, so we're not supposed to check him. Once, once he's there, you're dead. Oh, really? Really? Are you kidding me? Alright, guess let's not check the videos then. I thought that was like a mandatory thing. Okay, let's let's just get the key. And then... Oh, I must have played Watch This at some point. Yeah, I was kind of wondering like, wait, didn't you say you hadn't played this? But, uh... Well, let's just... Leave? Sure. Okay, that's cool. This is all this incineration room. I was supposed to use the... Group. Yeah, maybe. I'm kind of confused with the key man. I won't go out. If I do bad things happen, what do I... No, oh, fucking hell. I definitely didn't play Watch the Visual Novel, so I got that at least. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Wait. Can I stop clicking on the fucking thing? 
Am I not supposed to use the key though? Maybe I'm supposed to use the key here. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm dying. Okay, can I get the hasman suit? What's the hasman suit here, right? I'm gonna sneak past them. Yeah, but what about. What about uh, some gas clothes? Yeah, maybe? No, okay, I guess we just gotta be really, really fucking fast. I'm gonna be fast as fuck, boy. Oh, let's go. Go! Ah! Unlock key, cool! I'm kinda curious what's in the other things, though. Let me see. Let me just save. Yeet! Yeah. Social bridge lock! You kidding me? Oh, well. I'm, I'm gonna guess there was nothing special in the... In the... In the... Drawers, you know. But what did I get? I got locker key. Ah, locker key! Wait, what? Are we talking about this locker? Is this a locker? It fits! I found a hazmat suit. Oh, okay, okay, I need to open that. Oops, I didn't know that. Hazmat suit. Alright, let's wear it. I found a hazmat suit. Let's go! Now I am the imposter. That's an imposter. Oh, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. I'm just getting the room with them. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I, I wasn't even in the room. There we go. Gentlemen! There is an imposter among us. Somebody here has been acting sus. So sus. Yes, yes, yes. Are you the imposter? We should hang out later today. No, it's a cryptic way to say leave me alone. Now that's sus. Now that's sus. What about you? Have a nice day. No, it's a cryptic way to say I hope your day sucks. Sussy. You must definitely join us for dinner. It's not an invitation. They're just being polite. Hey, facts. Wait, have I seen a run before? Keep quiet. I should keep quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just not talk. Bert likes watching the game of chairs, and I found it quite good as well. It's good to say, I, I was disappointed in his taste. What? What the fuck? Okay. But yeah, very sussy. Very, very sussy. Very icky, no good. Okay, I can't really look at this. Or do I have to take off my hazmat suit to read? No. Do I take off my clothes? Is that Andre? I can't even check stuff, let me see. I can't even no, I can't even take it off. Okay, never mind. This is that Andre? Andre! Andre, so what's you? Tee hee! How the fuck did you get, get behind those uh, security guard things? Yeah, this is gonna make me now. Oh man. Tee hee! I got to play! I've just like killed Andre's brother. She's been the happiest girl in the world. I c Charlotte killed Andre's brother? She lives in the house too. We're girlfriends. <gasps> oh my god, that's cute. Let's go. Let's go. Love always wins. Let's go. I didn't know you could pick locks. I didn't. The door was already open. Oh, then. So someone in the house. And this is my sister. Also. Oh, they actually killed the ab abomination. Wait, abomination? Oh yeah, yeah, that ab abomination. Right, right, right. From the... Uh, from episode 3, right? And this is my sisters. Charlie, I can't believe you. You finally got a hold of them! I'm so proud of them! You... Hehe, <laughs> didn't I say I get this? You sure keep your word? So, do we deal with the intruder? Yep, let's figure out a way to do that! Hmm... Is something the matter? I think scissors won't be enough. Then how about the syringe with the sedative? Oh! One of those we've hidden in the incineration room? Exactly! Let's go, what the fuck is, us is wrong with these people? What the fuck is- Oh, look at Andri, she looks so fucking stoned. Look at her. She looks fucking stoned, man. She's like, yeah, man. I smoked the- I smoked the whole weed, man. Wait, why is she level 4? She's level 4 while Charlotte is level 1. Guess Andri is the top one. I think she dipped into their own stash, yeah. Yeah, but Andri is definitely the- Charlotte is definitely the bottom one of those. And Andri is the top, you know. Since she's level 4 and Charlotte's level 1, you know. Let me see. Was in was this the incinerator room? There we go. <laughs> Good old incinerator. Tada! Here they are. Obtain a syringe. We can fill it with water later. I've heard it can be used as a form of torture. Wait, what? What the fuck is wrong with these people? Agreed. Are they fucking psychopaths? Is this like episode 3? Episode 3, Charlotte? Incinerator, a girl's best friend. Ah, yes. Nothing to make your. Uh, 
Gör uh, friend, gör girl, uh, gör girlie friends happy or at den uh, buying them in Sinraider, you know? Yeah man. If you ever want to impress a girl, just buy them in Sinraider, man. It'll burn your troubles right off. Yep, yep, yep. Have, having trouble with homework, burn it. Having trouble with uh, your boss, burn them. Having trouble with your family, burn them. You know, it fixes everything, man. Just burn them. Burn everything. Oh god, we do bad things happen, but Henry is there though. Okay, let's see if we can... Wait, did I get the key or something? Oh, wait, wait, I got the syringe, right? Let me see, do I have to fill up water? Was that it? Can we all have a shot for what to see? Okay, never mind. Do I have to look for an intruder? Is there a man cat here? Hmm, maybe it's in the fridge. Nope, okay. Under the table? No. Maybe we should just go to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep, you know. Oh my, <gasps> oh my god, it's Scarlet! This is some very pleasant genetic piano music. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's Scarlet. She's not my friend though. The intruder is staring at the TV screen absent mindedly. I know, I know all too well. Excuse me. I pierced the intruder's neck with a syringe. Jesus Christ. Acquired an intruder. Phew. What an unlucky miss. Let's bring it to the basement. Okay, so... Miss Intruder, her body's so heavy, jeez. Oh, I can use her. No, I can't use her, okay, never mind. I can use her to my... Wait, the syringe is still... Filled with hopes and dreams. Indeed. Can I use it on Henry? Okay. Carrying Scarlet as an inventory item is a meme now. Mm hmm Yeah. What the fuck? I can, I can use the scissor on... What the fuck? Oh, it looks like I can use it. On them, what the fuck? Yeah, man, I'm just carrying Scarlet in my pocket, you know. Let's go. She is my uh, item. I can use her however I want. Anyway. Incinerator, a girl's best friend. Oh, I have to uh, maybe do this. No? Or do I have to uh, go this way? Maybe here? Basement. Oh, no, man. I'm a dummy. Ah, the morgue. Bennett, Felix, come out, I know you're here. Hmm. Oh, Felix looks different. You called? <laughs> About friends. This person right there has been really rude. Oh, what did they do? They came to ruin the fun. Don't worry, leave it to us to deal with them. Well, well, what do we have here? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we start from the top or the bottom? That's a good question, my friend. I prefer saving your eyeballs for the last. Right, right, why don't we start it with the classics? As in, nail plucking? If we replace a belly with, belly with, let's say, this device and bowels with spiral wires, would you be able to produce electricity from the food she consumes? Now you're talking business. <laughs> she's in the, she's in, in the good hands now. By the way, we're having blood, bloodfish for dinner. Come join if you feel like it. Well, that's kind of scary, bloodfish. We stand here and watch for a good 15 minutes. In the good hands. Yep, 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 yep. They are in the good hands, which means that Charlotte is not the good hands. Okay, watch for 15 minutes. It gets old after six time. Okay, so the... Is this a sixth intruder? Or is this just a sixth person they have uh, drugged and uh, thrown in the basement and uh, stuff? You're right, let's go somewhere more fun. Like a hidden underground facility? Nah, we've been there already. Watch this. What the fuck is happening? Uh, where the fuck? <laughs> Venting the entire house. Oh shit. I ate Miss Intruder and used her energy to enter an another world. But I have no idea where I am. An another world. That, that was kind of cool. Like, like, goddamn sentences, you know. An another world. I think it's just another world, not an another world. But anyway. But I have no idea where I am. Whoops. Who am I explaining to? I wonder. This is becoming a habit. Henry, are you still there? Oh god, don't don't tell me she consumed her accidentally. Hmm, she must be around. Uh oh. What does this keep happening? I don't fucking know. Does it hurt an another? Yeah, ex exactly. It's kinda creepy. Hmm. I wonder what that says. Hmm. Seems like it's these. Hmm, is this them? Uh, there are like three or four different ones. Oh, I can't read binary. Neither can I, man. 
I could look it up, but uh Fuck oh this is like red space in the morning. Uh oh screaming and shit. Hmm. I think we're going so Oh Jesus Christ. Is that a baby screaming? It's like uh, music to my ears, man. Oh, what the fuck is this? Bummer, I can't read this. Uh, these are all in binary code. I'm not really interested in books. I'm not really interested in books. What was this? Hey, hey, human. Hey, have you seen Henry? I do not know this Henry you speak of. My name is Osiris. I'm an AI superior to all of you filthy pigs. I'm Charlotte. Listen carefully. I need your help and you need mine. Uh, do I? Silence. Silence, wench. You do. I hope you find the Henry if you help me bring down the re rain. Hmm. Fair enough. Promise me you'll do my homework as well? Of course, anything. Be gone, tot. <laughs> Is the deal then. So, what's the plan? So, not questioning me, human unit. Bring me to the core, I will do the rest. And the core's whereabouts are. I refuse to answer, so you don't know. That's okay, though. I take Osiris with me. Jeez, you so heavy with for a piece of plastic. That is quality aluminium, you fool. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna get Osiris as a party member, let's go. And he's just as strong as Charlotte's cool. Jesus Christ is screaming. I've heard this sound before. I heard this screaming before. Hold up. It's a cat. I just remembered. It's a fucking angry cat. Hold up, hold up. I'll, I'll find the angry cat. I remember this screaming. Hold up. I'm, I'll find it. Hold up. I, I heard this... Uh, let me see, where, where is it? There it is, I found it, hold up, hold up, let me just, uh, let me just mute the game and I'll, I'll show you, okay? Hold up, hold up, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, I've ever heard that screaming cat before. Okay, I'll just do like this, okay, I'm ready. There it is. I'm pretty sure it's this. It's this one. It's this. <laughs> It's the exact same one. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. But it is a pretty angry cat though. Anyway. Angry, yep. Anyway, let's uh, let's go back to the game. Yeah, you, you can hear... I don't know, I can, you, you can hear the screaming, right? Hold up. It looks like something rather sick, yeah. Let's just wait until they start screaming again. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I sound up a little bit. There we go. Yep, it's that cat. <laughs> anyway, let's... But yeah. It is a fucking dumb cat. <laughs> I like that I just, uh, that I just that I fact that I recognize that cat. I haven't heard that. I haven't seen that video in years. Wait, wait. I'm low on energy. Connect me to the charger. Oh, god damn it. Hmm. How does it work? I wonder. Just connect me to it. Okay. Oh, so. Are there any buttons I need to press? No. Too late. Forget it. Oops. Did you just switch the reality filters off? Oh oh. Well, thanks. I will now think of this every time I see screens of this. That uh, angry cat, that or I don't know. Man. Have you seen that cat, by the way, before? Or have you not seen that video? Because I think it's like 15 years old or something. Hold up, let me just see how old that was. I didn't, I didn't check. Let me see. Yeah. If we go into history, let me see. How old is that video? It is from 2006. It's 16 years old. Holy fuck! Yes. Holy fuck! 2006, yeah, like holy shit. That's pretty old, 2006. Jesus, got fucking angry cat, man. Did you just switch the reality filters off? No, I guess. What's that gonna do? It's a weird looking device. That makes me kind of sad. That cat is dead now. That's sad. Why, why are you gonna ruin the mood, man? Oh, well, at least we still got Mad Cat, though. We still got Mad Cat. I haven't killed Mag Cat yet, okay? Like, that was, that's in episode 2. This is between episode 1 and 2, you know? Listen, I remember something. Yes? You can't exit this area if you don't burn the meats. What? You need to find some meats, bodies, organics, call it whatever you want. But it might be dangerous, human unit. 
I cannot protect you in my current form. Just leave it to me. Okay, I can't leave until I burn some meat. I can't see anything. Fair not, even with my limited features, I can provide. A flashlight. But down, bow down, oh, bow down before its power. Oh, my mobile phone has one too. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did I just push? What the fuck was that? Hmm, wait. Wait! Hmm. Seems like it doesn't want to be friends. What are you talking about? Catch those things and get this over with. Okie dokie. Don't just stab it to death. Wait, where the fuck did it go? Come back here. Oh, what the fuck did she say? She said something. Oh yeah, okay, oh serious. Something, something. Aha! Gotcha! I call it dead, bo dead body. Well, though, I can't, I, I can't see it. Well, anyway, let's go and kill some bitches. Fucking screaming ass cat. Get back here. I throw Osiris at them. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha! Call it dead body. Meow, meow, meow. Jeez, cause the fucking cat still fucking angling him. Hit the monster with Osiris. Pokemon guard, catch them all! Uh-huh, except... Now, now I just stab them enough. Imagine Pokemon, instead of battling with Pokemon, you just use a scissor. Pair of scissors and kill everything. Created M. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha! You just smash the Pokemon into them. Hell yeah. Instead of, but instead of Pokeballs, it's just a rock, you know? I'll just smash a rock in their face, you know? Okay, man, it's... As long as it works, you know? Oh, get back here. What's else? Aha! Gotcha! Okay, I think I got everybody now. Not sure if there's anybody else. That's high-grade aluminium, I'll have you know. Yeah, man. I know the reference. I know the reference. That's an Osiris reference from Hello Charlotte, the game. I know the reference. But anyway. Jesus, can this cat stop screaming? I drag the bodies to the center. Hopefully that's enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Wait. Hmm. Go back to the bottom of the door. Oh, okay, I have to do that. What did it say? Entry allowed. I can't believe you're more useful than I initially thought human unit. I just want to find Andre. Uh, there's a fun glitch here. Oh, where? I'll have to go back. Uh. Uh, F. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know, man. I didn't know. Doesn't seem to be working. Uh, seven and low previous. Fine. Fine. I we was thinking about finishing finishing this, but uh, never know how long it's gonna take. Let's see. Go here. Ah, uh, now we have to listen to that dumb cat again from the f f f f all the way back. Come on, come on, cat. Scream in into your lungs. Scream your lungs. Content out. There's like a beat to it. To the voice act. Or the, the lines. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Walk up from the entrance to that. Oh. Okay, hold up. Let me just. Let me just kill. Okay, no mind. Let me just go up here. Not sure if you can do it in the dark. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me just. Kill this bitch. Okay, no mind. Okay, but I have to go up here and then. Okay, let me see. Walk up from the entrance to that room. The entrance to the side room, okay? Can I cat shut the fuck up? Oh my god, there are two of them. Then walk back here. And then. What am I supposed to do now? What do I do now? We don't go into the- Are you kidding me? I don't go into that room. At the room's entrance, walk up instead of- Oh, walk up instead of left. Oh! Oh, up there! Oh! I see, I see. What the fuck? We <laughs> Cool. I'm all about. Let's go! The, the robot uh, Osiris is like, what the fuck is happening? This is metal, dude. 
Okay, we might le let's uh, go to title again because oh, another another one of this. Yeah, let me just uh, load back on now because I wanna proceed. Hopefully the cat so stops screaming. Oh, what's this? Can you open doors with this, this device, you see this? Working on it. I paint like an open only one door at once. Which one do you choose? Uh, right? The right one? I'll go to the right one. Fumble, 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 fumble. And done. Yay! The tube is leaking with black substance. Cool. It's probably a chocolate, right? Chocolate! Black chocolate, you know. My favorite chocolate. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I heard something hissing behind the door right now. Let's be my imagination, all the voices. Probably the cat, right? Oh god, it's a cat. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god don't, don't, don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Bad. Can I escape? Actually, let's open the central door instead. You and your irresponsible decisions. Uh, did you open the door? Can I go in hell now? What the fuck is this music? Tell us doors are closed. We have to press the button first. I like the fact that he's uh, attacking me and I'm just uh, standing here. <laughs> he, he can't get me. As long as I don't continue the story, he can't kill me. We have to press the button first. Are you kidding me? Just wants a hug, man. Yeah, man. He's like Huggy Vuggy from that... Uh, that... Uh, Poppy's Playtime game. Just wants a hug, man. Just wants a hug. Uh, central room. I go to the central one. And done. Yay! What? Does, does just, her sprite have blood on it? Probably. Just want to fucking hang, man. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I pressed both buttons. Ah! I can... How the fuck am I so... Ah, I'm not gonna like this. I don't like that. I can just go up there right away, no? Okay, okay, no man. Uh, Jesus Christ, man. Uh, central door. Will it just not run? Okay, here, let me see. I tried to not run, but apparently I have to run. But how the fuck? Like, if I interact with the elevator, it says I have to press the buttons. And the, the failure. Are you calling? Stop! I'm not a failure. Okay. Chill, 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 bro. Chill. Bro, bro. Chill, chill. Chill, chill. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let, let's just save here. Let's just save right here. And then. Run! Hmm. Let's press the button first. Fuck off! Ah! Press the wrong one. Failure, 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 failure. Right, come on. Uh, like, how the fuck am I? How fast is that thing? Like, what the fuck is the point of it being that fast? Is it supposed to be scary? Like, I'm confused. How the fuck am I supposed to? Maybe I should just hold in the. No. no. Fucking hell. How the fuck am I supposed to react? It's moving so fucking fast, dude. Like, holy fuck. Okay, there we go. Jesus fucking Christ. Just go into the elevator. Yeah, man. Genius. There you go. Well, it's con. Did you even read the lines, man? Like, are you trolling me now? I hope you're trolling. I hope you're trolling, man. I hope you're trolling. I hope you're trolling because I did. I did try to go into the elevator. They said, like, oh, you have to press the button first. Sorry. Here. Are you scared, human unit? Hmm. Wait, what does the blood go? Did you wash yourself before going into elevator? Nah. What kind of place is it, Osiris? It's a land of meat and machinery. Organics and metal. Used to be, at least. It's a long story. Oh. Then maybe it'd be best to end the conversation here. Inquire the night, human unit. We used to coexist. Oh no, it's a tragic backstory time. <laughs> she just does not give a fuck. This is like episode 3, uh, episode 3 Charlotte. Except episode 3 Charlotte at least was charismatic, you know? Like, this one is just soulless. He must be thinking was close now. Then one day, all the organic life started dying, so we tried to preserve it in the only way we knew. 
by recreating it ourselves. Can that dumb cat stop screaming? It's really annoying. <laughs> we produce more failure, but we produce more failures than successful meets. These things you saw are all failures. Now the broken minds are all a part of the rain. To stop this, I have to get to the core no matter what. All right. But can can the cat fuck off now? Like it's seems like we can't go any farther. Oh, oh, where are we? Oh, I should probably save Jesus. What the fuck is that? A worm-like thing is growing from the floor. Behind the rubble, there seems to be a small passage in the meat wall. I can't move these things. You're useless. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I really needed that today. A worm-like thing is growing from the floor. Cool. Let's go to the left. What the fuck is this? Is this where I was supposed to go? What the fuck is that? It's a hole in the wall. Cool. Should I know? Hmm, there was com blood coming out of there. Does that mean that something was spawned there? Oh, let me see. Enter the sphincter. Enter the sphincter. What's this? Is it broken? It doesn't seem to. So, look, there's a keyhole, which means we need a key human maggot. Maybe dangerous step inside the field. Yeah, I'll enter it. Note, not actual advice. Wait, what do you mean by en enter sphincter? Do, do you mean... Do you mean here, or do you mean in the middle? Are we talking about this one? Like, my sense of register an item inside the hole. I command you to acquire a team in it. Eh, uh, fine. Uh, no. Welp. Wow, it, it worked. Wait, what worked? Checking the sphincter. But what's this though? What's this locked door? Looks like there's an area behind those meaty things. A try pulling them apart. They reconnect, forming a stronger flesh wall. Oh well. Find some tool to get there. Alright. Alright, let's go and uh, go into the sphincter. Sphincter. Alright, let's stick a hand inside. It tickles. My hand is chopped off. It goes back. Ooh! I think I found something. She does not give a shit the fact that she just lost her hand for a second. Okay. I found the key. Cool. Cool, cool. It's so casual, you know, like, hey, I lost my hand. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm sort of key. Forget about it. She's more powerful than episode 3, Charlotte. Yeah, seems like it. She doesn't even need to die to recover. True. She's like a demon. I'm sort of key. Is it working now? I should have realized it sooner. But I had the source material you tweet. This machine will only work if you bring it the samples of, let's say, metal. But why did she start talking like that? I sh sh Suddenly she starts speaking in riddles. Might be dangerous to step inside. Wait, I was missing the source material? Hold up. Wait, what was it? say? Oh well. Was there something I was missing here? Let me see. I'm not doing that again. Oh, never mind. Hmm. But there's something behind there. Okay. I just said that I really wish they changed the soundtrack. I mean, this is my favorite song. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to be working. Can I junk metal? Oh, pick some up. Sure. I can't junk metal. Let's go. This is my jam song. Yeah, knowing what this is makes it less pleasant. I don't fucking know what this is. Let's see, is it working? Do I look like I have hands to check? Say what you want to make. Say what you want to make. I'll help you with the binary code. Hmm. Ooh, chainsaw, sandwich, crowbar. Make me a sandwich. How about the sandwich? Are you stupid? Fine, I've got it. Let's try it again. So it's what? Are you kidding me? Illusion of choice. Illusion of choice. I want a sandwich. Well, I want a sandwich. No, you're stupid. You're stupid. Give me a sandwich. Bro. Bro. She literally just sold the robot to make her a sandwich. Yep. Chainsaw. Let's make a chainsaw. Alright, that doesn't sound too stupid. Enter the code. Best Charlotte. Yep. Chainsaw is ready. But I can't even lift it. Let alone make it work. I give up. You're stupid. Come back after reevaluating your life choices. It was Bennett. He left it with no effort. Let's try it again. R really? I, ca I can't use a chainsaw either. Are you kidding me? What's this illusion of choice bullshit? 
Anyway, crowbar. A crowbar? Alright, listen carefully. And the code. Noodle arms. For in spaghetti arms. Try crowbar. Yay! Fuck yeah, we're playing half li half life now. Let's go. Let's uh let's beat some stuff up. We can break it open now. Uh oh, this reminds me of episode 3. What the fuck just popped up? What the fuck is this? Steam needs to restart. Uh, no, not now. Fuck off, in the middle of, in the middle, middle of something, I mean. Instead, tanks are humanoid-like creatures. USB noses. Uh, yeah. Probably because I'm... I accidentally hit... Wait. I don't fucking know why. Uh, anyway, let's just continue. Not sure why the USB noises popped up. I think I accidentally hit... Like, touched my controller a little bit. This is weird because it sounds like it's disconnecting or connecting, but it's been connected all this time. The side tanks are humanoid like creatures. Cool. These are lifeless. They're just sleeping. Listen, I have an ingenious idea. Another one? Silence! <laughs> Fucking silence. No, silence! I kill you! Break these containers open and bring the meat vessels to the machine. There's all some junk metal left, so it should work. Why, sh why would I do that? Do not question me. Will I help me find Henry? Of course. Find them. Cool. Oh, okay. Did I come to clean any glass? Sure. A quiet test subject. Wow, you sure are heavy, mister. Now let's try you to the machine room. Let's go. Oh, is this like uh, tr human transmutation? You know, like in full metal? It's working properly. Oh, do I do it? So? It's an entrance to the generator field. Oh, does he become a human? I'll dictate you the code from here. Don't mess it up. Okay. I should probably save. To the parameters. Successfully generated an android. Oh shit. Osiris, is that you? Well, of course. Don't let this meat suit fool you. Give hands now. Is that the only thing you're concerned about? Let us proceed, human unit. We have no time to waste. Oh my god. Best boy. Let's go. I did not expect to do like Osiris this much. I thought I thought it was just gonna be like a throwaway character. This is actually cool. I can't say okay. Mm. Why do we not go this way? Do we go back to the elevator? This seems to be working, okay, never mind. Wait. Did they say where I was supposed to go? What what? Is this Waluigi Charlotte? Wah! Wah! Charlotte be like wah! What fucking hell I'm accidentally at. Enter and left the room actually. Let's see, can I not go in there? Nothing in the tank now. Lift the metal. Lift the metal. Wait, do you mean by lift the metal over here? Maybe then just step inside the field. Or do you mean by lift the metal down? Down here? Here? Let's see this moves the rubble without effort. You're strong as there is. Hmm. Let's proceed. Is, is he a Sundere? Hey. He's a Sundere. Finally, a new, new soundtrack. I've heard this before. We're getting closer to the core. I can feel it. I hope Andrew's there too. Don't be so optimistic just yet. I detected, I detected quite a few heat sources in this area. That is why. Don't stop running, will you? Alright, let's uh, keep running. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Jesus Christ. What do you want to get to course much? Did I miss a line there? By the way. Oh, okay. By the way, why do you want to get to the core so much? Yeah, 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 by the way, why do you want to get to the core so much? It's simple. When we get to the core, I load myself into every monstrosity we spawned and initiate self-destruction. Hmm. So you want to die? You ask too many questions, human maggot. That wasn't a question. You put the best down to your series. Shut it. Got it, got it. I have a feeling we're very close to the end. We have arrived. Let's go. But why is the elevator still shaking if we have arrived? Uh, is that mother? No, it is Henry. Oh, fuck. Or maybe boat? Here it is, the rain score. Henry, there you are. Step back. The girl's organs are connected to the core. If you forcefully remove the wires, you'll gather. Oh, may I ask something? You are allowed to speak. Our best followers, prime viewers, um, blah blah blah. Another fucking bot. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, why are so many bots? You are allowed to speak. How did it become like this? We exist to preserve life. 
the human was dying. So we connected the human to the rain. I see. I didn't take Andrew home. Can you let her go? The human has the necessary genetic material to recreate organic life. The human will now become the mother of all. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It is too late to do anything now. You will not leave, human. Too bad that's not going to happen. Sorry. I was just distracting you. Oh, serious? Are you done yet? I've got another discussion topics. <laughs> Splendid, splendidly done, human units. I think I saw this on Rule 34 before. What? The scene? I've finished loading my member modules, modules into the core. Alright. Then, we're leaving. I cut all the vibes from my sisters and put Henry close to me. She falls into my arms, gutted and breathless. It's nothing I can't fix. Sorry, I couldn't find you sooner, Henry. It's nothing I can't fix? What? It's nothing Charlotte Sh can fix? Initiating self-destruction. Looks like it's all over. Let's go home. This world isn't fun at all. Jesus fucking Christ. I ate the world of meat and machinery like it was nothing. This world was just another failure, after all. What the fuck? Using the energy of the world I've consumed, I restore Henry's body. <laughs> Henry! Charlotte! Why does she look so... She doesn't look like she just fucking died there. Like, what the fuck? Wait, Osiris is still alive? Why did you take me with you, human maggot? You promised you'd do my homework. Or have you forgotten already? So there, enjoy your vacation at the house. What the fuck? Was he in episode 2? I don't remember Osiris being in episode 2. Thus, we came back home. In the end, we always do. In the house, every day is fun. We go on adventures, have fun, and have even more fun afterwards. Nope, this game only, okay. Even if the world gets destroyed and we die, over and over. The fun never ends, because that's the kind of place it is. Cool. I'm gonna guess this is the end. Hello Charlotte, Delirium. End. Yep. Then. Well, that was cool. I kind of understand why she's holding a knife and a... Is that a fork? Or... Yeah, it's a fork, because she's eating the world. Well, that was interesting. Yep. <laughs> run away. Let's run away. Anyway, let's open up the... Okay, I think I have to open up Hello Charlotte episode 3. It seemed like yeah, because that updated once I bought the DLC. Okay, not... How the fuck do I access? Wait, how do I access the DLC? Okay, so probably... Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me just look up. How the fuck do I access that shit? Let me see. Jesus fucking Christ, let me see. Hello, Charlotte. DLC. How to play. I don't fucking know. Uh, didn't even say just kind of one of Steam says it's been a song. Okay, what do we have? Uh, sip called Heaven's Gate in the game fold. Just extract this content and then fold launch Heaven's Gate. Hmm. What the fuck? Okay, so I guess I have to open. But shouldn't I be able to open it here? Hold up. Oh, let me see. Wait, wait. Manage the DLC here. Okay, okay, I have to click there. Or maybe not. What? How the fuck do I? What do I have to click via the DLC here? Let me see. How the f fucking hell? This sounds unnecessarily complicated. Yeah, yeah, but like. It says it's DLC for Hello Charlotte Episode 3, but if I open up Hello Charlotte Episode 3. This just pops up, because everything is ruined because of me. I'm gonna guess I can click new story, right? Let me see. Yep, it's it's just that. Okay, mm. I think I need to open... Hold up, let me see. Because it was in gaming... Yeah, the Steam library, Steam apps, common. Hello, Charlotte. Where is... This is not here somewhere. Or maybe I have to go. Wait, not, wait not. Maybe I have to, have to go to the Steam page. Let's go to the Steam page. If not, I'm gonna Google how to. Let me see. Hello, Charlotte. Is it not showing a separate game in your library? Uh, no. It didn't last time. Let me see. Let me just open the Did Then not buy it. Yeah, it says play now. Okay, let me see. If I click play now. Fucking hell, it just opens this. Like, it was, it's a DLC for this game, you know? How the fuck do I- Or maybe I'm just supposed to load a random save file and play it from there, I don't fucking know. Let's, let's load this one. The file is in the... Hello, Charlotte 3 folder apparently. Okay, okay. But let me just... Is there no way to access from here? No, okay. Alright, let's just quit. Let me see. Okay, okay. So I need to... Wait, wait. I need to... 
Let me see, where is... Need to manage pros properties. Local files, browse. Heaven's gate, there we go. Jesus fucking Christ, this is fucking complicated, man. Don't know why they had to make it, make it this complicated, man. Let me see, okay, and then just drag it over. There we go. Open it up. Let's see if it opens up now. There we go. It's possible to do that. Okay, just do it. There we go. Okay. <gasps> we can actually play like this. Hold up. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Oh, this is not show, Danny. There we go. Okay, I think I'll just... Jesus, God, what the fuck? There we go. I will play now or should I have a skate? I see, I see. But, uh... Yeah, there's no sound in the game, it seems. Jesus, I guess it's fucking white. Je uh, fucking hell. Just touching stuff I shouldn't be touching. There we go, okay. Anyway, uh... Let's just start the game and see how it is. It should be ready now. Okay, okay. Let's just jump right into it. I'm kind of curious how this is going to be. I, I think this was like a separate story to the whole universe thing. It seemed like... I don't fucking know, but this is a visual novel. Let me see, diary, what's this? Okay, uh... Is this me just the uh, game laggy? Or maybe it's just supposed to be like that. Wait, I, cl I clicked back, but it did- Wait, what? One day, a mother of a young family brought home a doll. She did so out of necessity, rather than on a whim or out of strong desire. It wasn't the kind of doll you'd normally see on the shelves of a large supermarket. It wasn't a particularly beautiful model being pudgier and noisier than her peers. Her insides were made out of slime that always seemed to ooze out of her nose and mouth. But the mother seemed to be content, content, with, the, content with those unsightly defects. The doll was supposed to melt into sticky, dripping wet, foul-smelling glue that would keep the mother's marriage from falling apart after all. The father didn't want to keep the item. But to his disappointment, the shop didn't accept any returns. Are they talking about, uh, about uh, Scarlet? The doll became a fitting addition to the house's interior, for she fit perfectly among the counterfeits, porcelain tea sets, and useless trinkets stuffed into the shelves. Pictures reflecting her snotty face filled up the family albums. A thousand fabricated certificates of a model family life. One day, the glue went dry and the family fell apart. As the porcelain plates hit the walls and the trinkets fell from the shelves, the doll remained still. The slime inside of her turned into water and flooded the room. The woman who bought it left the house, leaving all her former possessions behind. A new owner soon came, and Henry was born. But what the fuck is this? Like, I'm kind of confused. Like, I, I clicked on diary and then this happened. Like, how, how long is this? Alright, let, let's just continue reading, reading the diary before we start the game, because I, I, this ma might be important, I don't know, let me see. I never felt like others treated me like a human being. Rather, I was an object, a commodity in a human disguise. To my family, I was akin to a not particularly expensive piece of furniture that they kept around despite having bought a replacement. To my classmates, I was a wind-up doll that they could push around by provoking it, laughing at how clumsy it was. Due to almost too cliché parental neglect, I was never taught proper hy hygiene. Ew. So my peers, oh, so my peers made sure to laugh at the way I smelled after forgetting to shower for weeks, and the way dirt gathered under my fingernails. Is this Vincent? They hid my clothes at the PE and called me names, but it didn't matter. No, okay, okay, this is. Is this Henry? Wait, wait. Who whose clothes were hidden? Wasn't it Henry? Or was it? Uh, or was it Scarlet? I think it was Henry, right? Henry got her clothes hidden. Or was it Charlotte? Fucking hell. Who the fuck uh, was in PE class and had their clothes stolen? I don't remember. Fucking hell. So cool. Uh, that was Henry, if I recall, but different universe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did my clothes have the PE and called me names, but it didn't matter. I didn't matter. As soon as puberty hit, I became even more convinced that I was no more than an object. Maybe it's because I used to eat too much, or maybe due to genetics, I grew to be more well-endowed than other girls my age. Disgusted, look, 
looks I used to get turned into wait discuss the looks I used to get turned into something more primal and feral. Lust. Start for attention, I want to be desired. A gift needs pretty wrapping, a realization came. Under my mother's clothes, I wore stockings and garter belts. Asked for exp expensive underwear as a birthday present. Began paying more attention to my hygiene. My hair became perfectly combed and not a single strand of out of place. Porcelain skin nurtured by evening masks and face cream. Fake. But no longer unwanted. People I never talked to began asking me out. Girls swarmed around me, talking about boys, periods, and reality shows I couldn't bring myself to care about, but watched anyway. Yeah, yeah, this is angry. It was something new, something I didn't know I longed for. My first kiss was with a girl. Ooh! Was it a drinking party? And everyone was drunk and horny enough to play sex. Sex dice obviously meant for older crowds. Ooh! I didn't like her, but I liked how it felt. I decided I wanted more. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Silky shirts, short skirts, knee socks, fluttering lashes, flawless mascara. Not a single pimple on my skin. It didn't matter that I was stuffed with chunks of meat swarming with maggots. Squirming, wriggling, eating me from inside. Charles Eiler wasn't a particular attractive person. Ah, Charles, how are you? Let aside his above average looks. Something about his attitude gave away that something wasn't right. Okay, okay, so this is like. Uh, uh, I remember uh, Charles and Andre si sitting and uh, looking down on. Uh, on a person, right? By the stairs, right? So this, this is probably how they met, right? Before they started. Not really dating, but they were hanging out, but also dating, you know? Let's say this above average looks. Something about his attitude gave away that something wasn't right. Maybe it was the way he scratched his skin and bit his nails, or the way he stared into empty space, murdering something. This is supposed to be a true realm parallel universe, so I'm guessing this is, this is true realm too. This is true realm too. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 I see, I see. There was no Wi-Fi on his flip phone. Oh god, he doesn't have Wi-Fi? Yet he was constantly taking it out of his pocket in short intervals. Tapping message to nowhere. Signal alarm clock off and back on. A foolproof tactic to ease rising... Oh, a foolproof tactic to ease rising anxiety. In class, he will often respond to the name of a girl classmate, and everyone will start laughing. He covered his mouth, modified, realizing that the teacher's question wasn't directed at him. Stifled mutterings, jerky movements. Constantly on the edge, anxious and detached, Charles Arla was far from pleasant. Yet, I found us to be similar. It felt like there was something eating him from inside. Maybe we were stuffed full of maggots, too. I didn't even find me the other, we're all in seven now, like, holy shit. No, oh, fuck! Fuck, I, I misclicked. Oh, wait, okay, okay, save, okay, okay, we can save, okay, okay, uh, save there. I don't know if I can know. Thursday, March, now, okay, cool. Okay, uh, uh, we were sitting in an empty classroom. I was absent uh, I was absent mindedly scrolling down the feed on my phone. Ala was finishing his homework for the next day. He did all the assignments during breaks and got excellent marks for it. I never got why he was in such a rush. So, uh, what's your answer? Yes or no? Ala didn't look me in the eye. Instead, he was looking at the spot between me and the window frame. What? Uh, sorry, what were we talking about? I couldn't hear you well in this noise. Alice's voice echoed throughout the empty, eerily quiet classroom. Everyone else had gone home a long time ago. I started to get annoyed. Like I was saying, will you date me? Seconds passed. I love Meadow's indistinguishable words, still distracted by something. He was visibly uncomfortable. Okay. You what? You okay with this? I mean, why not? If you want to, listen, I... I need to go. I need to go home. Quick, I'm sorry. His words made no sense. Arla grabbed his bag and stormed out of the classroom. What was that about? Henry used to be a high achiever in elementary. By middle school, he had lost all the motivation to study. Eventually, he stopped leaving his room. You need to spend more time with your brother, father had told me on numerous occasions. Each time more insistently, his wife nodding behind his back. As if this smelly frillo didn't get enough attention from them already. So sometimes I sat on the phone in my brother's room, listening to the click-clack sound of Henry's keyboard. It was always dark in his room. The air inside was damp, laced with the lingering stench of instant noodles and used tissues littering the floor. Blech. Sometimes Henry got tired of playing and flopped onto the bed near me. Yeah, it's pretty ill. 
He was not a talkative kid, so never got what he was. He was not a talkative kid, so I never got what he was thinking. Sometimes he crawled onto me and buried his head in my chest, just laying there as I blankly stared into space. In the darkness, barely illuminated by LED lights, he told me about his two-dimensional sweethearts. Like then, Henry brought out his smartphone and shoved it into my face. It's space idol Guriri. All of these are from the anniversary pool he modeled, scrolling down his color collection. A man of culture, indeed sweetheart. Mm, how much did you spend on her? Not much. Liar. H -h Henry? I locked lock him pass. She's worth it. I felt tired. Hey, shouldn't you be interested in real girls at your age? No, they're gross. My man! <laughs> Am I gross too? Kinda. Henry squeezed closer to me. <laughs> too close for comfort. I could smell his full breath. Who, who has time for 3D girls when 2D girls is all you need? Like, let's go. Henry was extremely bad at maintaining hygiene, just like I had one spin. Maybe it was in our genes. He must be starved for body contact without realizing it. I thought absent, I thought absent mindedly. Hey, stop it. You're too close. Go ask Mount to cuddle you. You just like 1D girls. They're the best. Isn't that just one line? <laughs> Hendel didn't, li didn't listen and only built his. But I kinda, I kinda wanna Google that, but let, let's finish this first. I, I gotta look up what the fuck a 1D girl is. It's probably just a single line, right? Hendel didn't listen because it's only an X, X axis, right? Hendel didn't listen and only built his head deeper into my chest. He was like a toddler. Mom and dad only buy meetings, they don't care about me. Believe me, they do. Unlike you, I didn't have that luxury. Say, why won't you leave my, your room? It's pointless. What is everything? There's nothing I want to do in life. The only times I feel happier when I play games or sleep. But I don't want to die either. So I'll just stay here forever. How pathetic. And it's all one direction. Yep, yep. Because uh, like 3D is X, Y, and Z axis. 2D is X and Y axis. And the one, 1D is X axis, you know? So that makes sense. It's just a single line, you know? So that's technically an, uh, one D, a 1D girl, as in the boy band. It's all one direction. Ah, it's a boy band. Fuck that. <laughs> Charlie, you need to see a doctor. I gave Alex a sandphone squeeze. He was shaking. We were sitting on the cold floor in the boy's bathroom. There were around 15 minutes until the third period ended. I was trying to ignore the writing on the wall. Warhol is a slut. Alex responds with a minute long delay. What would they do? Stop me with pills? At the very least, they'll help. They didn't help mother. I'm talking about you. Charlie, please, stop pretending you're okay. If you're not planning on telling me what's wrong, then at the very least, try to seek help yourself. If I say anything, she'll throw my pet- If I say anything, she'll throw my pet cat out the window, or worse. Oh god. She did. She, di she did do that, remember? She? Okay, I understand. I didn't understand at all. But... Ilo was shaking. He was completely terrified. And terrified too. Of him. Of him and his mind. Nah, she had him poisoned the cat. Oh, right, 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 poisoning her. Right, I forgot that. They, they made the poisoned cat. I forgot that. Fucking hell. I just remember the Scarlet's Ilo made the Charles, Charles Ilo kill, the, kill his cat. But I don't, didn't remember exactly how. I was shaking. He was completely terrified. And terrified too of him and his mind. It's not your fault, it's all I could say, unable to find the right words. All right, right, gotta tell him, like, it's not your fault, it's not your fault, it's not your fault, uh, east anxiety. Seeking comfort, I squeeze his hand harder. How many of these are there? We're on number 10 now. Is this the whole game? No. Like, holy fucking shit. What's the end of the year party? There's something about the thrill of blaring music and pleading conversation I can't... Okay, hold up, I, I, I just want to look up, because I'm kind of curious. I I, I, I wanted more visually things, but let me just uh, look up. Uh, hello, Charlotte. Mm, what was this called again? Heaven's Gate? Diary. I'm just curious how long it is. How long is it? How long is it? Nah, this is bonus stuff. Ah, okay, but I'm just curious how long it was. We'll just see how long it is. It is... Okay, it goes up to 15, it seems. Something like that, okay. So, we're two thirds away, okay. It was the end of the year party. There's something about the thrill of blaring music and fleeting conversations I can't quite put into words. There, I was able to forget who I am and who I cannot be. He must have be a guy from the parallel class. Pretty handsome, I had to admit. 
Hva for å drinke, jeg asket? Kjør, jeg replied, and took the plastic cup from his hands. The room gradually began to tilt. Are you okay, jeg asket? I'll take you to rest upstairs. There was something in my drink, I belatedly realized, as I was led to the upper floor. As my consciousness faded, I thought of Eilor. It was dawning at me that they didn't want to own, to possess, to consume. They didn't want me. They didn't want anything I was able to offer. He wants something that couldn't be seen, something immaterial and ethereal. He wanted to be saved, but I'm merely an object. My head was filled with mocking comments from my classmates, dives at the party, constant expectations, graffiti on the wall. I was trying so hard, I was trying my best, yet why was I still not enough? When I came to, to I was surrounded by girls, concerned yet, concerned yet relieved the looks on their faces. I wanted to go home. 11. I woke up one day to hear the debates in the kitchen. It was probably about Henry. Nothing ever changed. I snuck into his room, trying not to make a sound. He was curled into a ball under the desk, shaking, muttering something. Henry, it's me, come on, stop hiding. Leave me alone. What happened? They want to fix me, send me to therapy. And? I don't want to be fixed. Give me a break. Just look how much they cared about you. I want you useless, stinky, perverted. I had to calm down. Then, what do you want? To be with Guriri. Guriri is not a person. I don't give a shit. Hey, language. You, ju you, you just don't want to make any... Wait. You just don't want to make any effort to gain positive emotions in real life. What is so... There are so many grammatical errors in this game. It's like, holy fucking shit. It's kind of... Like, it's not pissing me off or anything, but it's kind of like... You know, like, it's kind of annoying. I don't know, man. <laughs> you'll, you'll think that uh, some of them will have pointed this out by now, since the games, uh, games have been out for a while. I put it like, hey, you should probably fix that, and the developer will be like, okay. But uh, I guess they didn't go back and update it, I don't fucking know. Anyway, you, j you just don't want to make an effort to gain positive emotions in real life. Henry got quiet for a moment. I'm tired, was his only answer. I'm tired too. Charles Adler started taking pills. No more jerky movements. No more staring into space. There was a permanent smile plastered on his face. He seemed alarmingly normal. We went out for food and movies. I made sure to Instagram all the food we ate and the places we visited. It would surely become the proof of our norm normalcy. I talked about myself, and Isla actually heard me instead of spacing out, erratically checking his phone and murdering something in the sweat. In turn, Isla told me about mother, about things he saw that others didn't, about the writer he admired. Everything was normal, just like I wanted it to be. 13. So, like, did you two do it already? Henry, ah, oh, come on, of course we did. Oh my god, for real? He seemed like such a wimp, though. I bet it was the worst. To be honest, he deserves so much better. Oh my god, he had sex. Sex! You aren't lying, right? I can't believe that I like capable of anything more than hand hold hand holding. Oh my god. Girl A, girl B. Right, girl A, girl B. I kind of forgot about this, but hand holding. Hand holding. Holy fuck. Now that's. Now that's dirty. Yeah, like, did he finally man up? If a guy doesn't watch you then, then there must be something wrong with his dick. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with girls? Looks like you'll have to take action to help him overcome it somehow. Otherwise your relationship is doomed, lol. Right, Henry? Lol, yeah. Hmm? And girl C. Yeah, girl A, B, and C. This doesn't insult you. This doesn't insult you, asked, showing I love the group chat. I lied, I lied to them about everything, but... You know. Oh, okay, they didn't have sex. Cool. Charles John, shaking his head in disinterest. You only get insulted when you view something as insulting, s s c says. He elaborated. So, wait. You only get insulted when you view something as insulting, c says. He elaborated. So, no, it doesn't. Uh, what the hell? I thought you'd be hurt or something. Charles laughed mischievously. What? You wanted to console me, Miss Varel? I turned away, brows furrowed. I could upset you, know. They don't know you at all. He was taken aback at first, then ruffled my hair with his blistered hand. Sorry. Know what Stokes say? You're provoked by your own judgment of the situation. And we can't expect people to view us the way we perceive ourselves. So don't worry about me. Here he goes again, apologizing. I was fairly sure that even if he understood all of this, some part of him must have been affected. But his words were somehow reassuring. Did he feel the same when he talked to C, I wonder? Feeling about everything, unaffected by surrounding opinions. That person really must be someone strong if they were able to influence Charles to this extent. If I stay by his side, maybe I'll be saved one day too, I thought. 
and that thought alone felt comforting enough to help me get through another day. Charles turned on the horror movie. There fell asleep on his shoulder. Personal space be damned. That was the last conversation we had before everything went to shit. The god of this, the god of this world was no more. Months later, we, mo we moved to another town. It was never my decision to make. I left most of my possessions at the whole old home. Henry played Pokemon during the enti entire trip, then vomited onto my shirt, carsick. Uh, are they allowed to write that? Like, isn't that... Oh well, oh, well they, they probably can. They say this is a parallel dimension, but this feels like a very good fit. Yeah, it does, it does. I mean, maybe the diary isn't the parallel universe. Maybe... Pokemon. Yeah, the, the, the E is different, I see. But uh, maybe the diary is not is the same one we are used to. Because this is just a diary, right? So this might be uh, the universe we know, right? But uh, after we're done with the diary, we'll play the alternate universe one. Henry played Pokemon during the entire trip, then vomited onto my shirt, car sick. I pet this oily hair, letting my nails sink into flakes of chronic sebori and dead skin. I thought of Charles once again. Without anything solid to ground them, wouldn't he float away? In the last moments we spent together, it had already felt like he wasn't present. As if the maggots swarming inside of him had already consumed his insides. How unfair. 5. Hey. How are you, Charlie? You shouldn't leave him alone, Henry the Varol. Well, uh, Sebor here is a common skin problem. It causes a red, itchy rash and white scales. When it affects the scalp, it is called dandruff. What the fuck? Let's see. Hey, how are you, Charlie? You should leave him alone, Henry at the Varol. Alar, I'm being serious. So am I. Please stop writing us. Who's us? Wait. What the fuck? Did Charles? Did Charles really tell uh, Henry to stop writing to him? Like, that's why they stopped talking? Who's us? Why? You're a hindrance. If you continue pestering us, I'll make your personal information public. Oh, this is, uh, this is Scarlet, right? This is Scarlet, probably. He took on C's name. Seems like it. Or C is I don't fucking know. I'll make your personal information public. Like, she did mention she, was, she moved, right? So this is after she had moved. Right? And, uh... And, uh... C killed... Like, you see Vincent. He killed himself before they moved. So this is most... This is after, and... He's saying us. And that seems like yeah, something... Charlie will say, or uh, something Scarlet, you know? Scarlet, Charlie, you know? You're a hindrance. If you can hear past pestering us, I'll make your personal information public. Yeah, and this sounds, this sounds like Scarlet. I'm pretty sure... C uh, C is, uh, C is Scarlet and, uh, and Charles. You have things to hide, don't you? Oh. Henry, hi. I'm sorry for the last time. Feel free to block me. Okay, now you sound like Charles. Apology accepted. Hi. Are you okay? More or less. How's mom? Like usual, I'm trying to spend more time with her. That's nice. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Time to adjust to a new place. Henry is an idiot and blew a whole load of money on online gambling, so that took away his debit card. So I'm right, I guess. I'm working as a waitress right now, so I have my own income. But I guess most of this money will go to my parents anyway. That's and all. Do you have plans for uni or...? I'm taking a year off. Can't deal with it right now. And I'm not sure what I want to do. Haha, <laughs> yeah, only the job you're crazy about can get you a good income. Or just luck, really. Higher education won't really promise you a good place in life. Nice pasta. Did you get into uh, medical uni? I learned a month. I don't really remember the day of the exam. Uh oh. What would you do if you don't pass? Kill myself, I guess? Ah, uh, no, just kidding. It's not funny. I know, I'm being serious. I'm ordered to take care of, so don't worry. Uh, I know a few people like this, and that's kinda scary. Yeah. I can see that. Wait, wait, what do you mean by I know a few people like this? That's talking in. Two different personalities, so are you thinking about uh, people who, who are like suicidal and stuff? Mm, let's see, like Andrea. Ah, okay, let's see. Oh, so, so people who can't decide what they want to do in life? Is that what you're thinking about? Andrea, hi, how are you? Heart mode just gross. Alar, is that really you? Of course it's me. Uh, okay. People with a messed up family. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Oh yeah, yeah, because he spent all his money on gambling and stuff, the father, right, right, right. Or Henry. 
Was Henry the father or was Henry the... No, no, Henry was the brother, right? Henry was the brother, I think. Uh, uh oh. I'm fine, just having trouble adjusting to a new place. Henry was the brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't make any... Oh, I'm fine, just having trouble adjusting to a new place. Didn't make any friends yet. I don't want to pretend to be someone else just to fit in, but no one really wants to hang out with me when I'm myself. I feel alone. Are you doing okay? I'm okay. Uh, specifically asked not to talk about the uh, remnants, though. What the fuck? Uh, who the fuck is XXXXX? Uh, Charlotte? Who is it? No, I have no idea what the fuck. Specifically asked not to talk about the remnants, though. Oh, it's counting down. I just realized it's counting down. Charlie, I'm... I'm scared of you. Of what you're becoming. I thought I didn't understand you before. But now I feel like I don't understand you at all. And I'm really not sure what to do. You need to seek help. Shit. I'm so sorry. If you're reading this, it's me. I'm not okay. I'm not sure for myself anymore. Sometimes I just close my eyes and then find myself at an unfamiliar place several hours later. I pass the exams, but I'm failing classes hard. I feel like vomiting just looking at people. They don't look human. I'm afraid if we meet again, you won't look human too, see? Too. So please, don't try to find me. Mother is not okay. She's not responding anymore. Everything is distorted, and I'm clearly bothering you. I... I need to put a stop to this. Those were the last messages from Charles. His phone went dead, and he never replied back. Trying to cope with this reality, I tried to forget about him. Oh, 16 now. Six layers, Huxley? Makes no sense though. I don't fucking know. Okay, now it's 16. A year later, I found out that Eilers no longer lived at the old address. Charles Eiler had disappeared without a trace. I want to think he's okay, but I know better. Lilith Eiler was buried in a local cemetery. Looks like Charles took care of her burial before disappearing. I won't live longer than Motherwood, he once told me, and stay true to his words. I like to think that the soul went where she is. Perhaps he's lying in the bottom of a vast sea, his form flig flickering uncertain. I want to lie down near and make sure his ca carcass doesn't float away. But that's a selfish wish to have. Instead, I placed a bouquet on the grave and whispered a quiet prayer. Diary end. On their grave? So the mom and dad were called Lilith set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the f he, he did say that... Uh, like, the Umbrella Man did say that his name was uh, Set, you know? And... Uh, and, uh, yeah, and Lilith was uh, the mother. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense. Diary end. Yeah, so that was cool. That was a long-ass diary. Didn't expect that. Anyway, let's start, let's start the DLC now. <laughs> that was a big-ass thing, but what's preferences? Oh, text speed. Auto forward time. Mm. Forward back side. Skip unseen text. Oh, okay, okay. There are different cho- Oh, you can pick choices and stuff. Okay, what's about? Have I a short Hello Charlotte spin of coming of, coming of age kinetic novel developed by Etherain. This visual novel is available for free in English at itch. Wait, so I paid money for no reason. Did I buy this game for no reason? I could have just gotten it. I could have just gotten it uh, for free on itch.io. Any reprint or illegal distribution of this work is prohibited. Made with Rempus. Okay. Let's help. Uh... Hmm. The gamepad, can I use can I use this? What? Let me see. Can I use this? Let me see. Hold up. I didn't think I could use this. Oh, okay, I can. I'm mad. Fucking hell. I could just use my fucking controller. I've been clicking for no reason. What do I have to. I am confused. Oh, I have to use the right one. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. I have to use the. Okay, this sounds bad. What do you mean? Come with age kinetic novel. What's one with kinetic novel? Like, is, isn't it a vision novel? Okay, there we go. Let me see. Now it's suddenly working again. That's kind of weird. Let me see. Uh... Anyway, let's let's just jump right into it. Let's let's see what's what's up. It's it's supposed to be like 40 minutes long, so it's not that long. Okay? So it's, if it's bad, it's not that long. And if it's good, it's, it's again just 40 minutes long. Or, or is the diary part of 40 minutes? I hope it won't be too edgy. Let's see, we'll see. Start. It works. Mother. Fucker. Evans Gate. Vincent Fennell. 
Why is there no music though? Is it because I muted it? Hold up. Did I accidentally mute it? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me see. Let me just see. Did I accidentally mute it? No? It's not muted though. What the fuck? Okay, no mind. I have no idea. There's a sound in. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. I am confused, man. Because it doesn't say I've muted it, so I don't fucking know. Sound is on. It says it needs a sound card. Yeah, yeah, but like every game needs sound card. Like the motherboard has integrated the sound card. It's kind of weird. So I assume there is sound. Hmm. Uh, should I hold up? Let me just uh, let me just do this. Hold up. I'm, I'm gonna look up uh, on YouTube just to see if the intro has sound. Or if it doesn't have sound. Okay, let me see. Uh, that was Charlotte. Heaven's Gate. Let me see. We just find that quickly. Start the recording. Okay, uh, fucking squeaker. Hi. Just came out of here. So it's close to Maddie. Oh, that matter. Hmm. Doesn't seem like the game has any sound. It doesn't seem the. the oh, let me just go that. Heaven's Gate. Uh, hello, Charlotte. Sound. Is there any sound in that? And uh, does it say anything about having sound? Uh, it's even hard to get into. No sound. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. What's it say? I was hard to get in because there's no sound, but it's worth it. Okay, okay, so there's no sound. There's no sound. No, there's, there's no game sound. Apparently. There's, there's no music, there's no game. Anything, so. Hmm. Say again, this. Okay, so we just have to. Pl Let me see. That is bizarre. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Anyway. Let's just uh, jump right into it. Just jump right into it. Oh, Jesus Christ, I misclicked. Let me see. How do I? This story? Let me see. Vincent Fennell is watching a small trail of ants go by. His gaze remains in disinterest. Okay. Alright, cool. Bring in. Approach him out of curiosity. Oh, winged ants. That's rare. Oh my god, my boy. They're so small. Oh, okay, so the middle one is Charles and the one to the left is Vincent. They're so small. That's good. Bugs are yucky. Look. He gets up from his knees and steps close to the ant trail. We must be like gods them, don't you think? So with those words, Vincent picks one up. Just one tug and- What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with Vincent? He picks up a fucking ant and just- That's- that's fucked up, man. Just one tug and- So he rips off and that alarming is. Stop it! Let it go! What are you being so upset about? Just because we are bigger, that doesn't mean we should hurt them. Hmm, it's just a bug though. Mom says even the smallest lives matter. My mom says bugs are annoying. <sighs> if if you don't stop, I'll tell the nurses. The boy simply gets up and leaves. What's up with him? From that day on, I decided I don't like Vincent Fennel a lot. Hey man. Don't don't be like that. Tezos, what the fuck? It's lunch break. Okay, so this is firmly alternative viewer stuff. Yep, 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 yep. They're going in the same class and stuff. This is probably just a normal world, right? This is probably just a normal world where, where, where these characters are in. Probably just a normal school thing. I want to in stickers and holding tasters. A recent fad among kids. Vincent is surrounded by children who are marveling at his collection. Oh, this one's super rare. Where'd you get it? Was it my chips? Lucky. Do you want it? <gasps> I can have it. But I don't have anything good to trade you. I don't mind. Just choose one that you don't have then. Trade with me too. Me too. What you looking at, Charles? Charlie? Will I trade too? Uh, no. Mom says chips are bad for health. Boring. Vincent, look, I have holographic, I have holographic ones. Uh, what's so special about them? All he has is a pack of tasers. Lost and taught, I trip and drop the box with the classroom turtle that I was... Wait. I trip and drop the box with the classroom turtle that I was carrying. No! No, not the turtle. The nurses yell at me and make me stand in the corner for half an hour. So you right, Charlie. Charles, I blame it on Vincent too. <gasps> How can you blame that on Vincent? Oh, mother. Mother. But number five, we move into a flat swarming with cockroaches and pigeons living on the balcony. Why is this place so dirty, mom? I ask. The person who lived here wasn't very cleanly, is mother's answer. 
I want to go back home, I tell her. Why do we have to leave? We won't be staying here for long, there, Mother says, and I want to believe her. The surrounding dirt makes my skin crawl. Later, I overhear our neighbors talking and learn that the former owner was a drug addict. Died of overdose, they say. When I raise my voice, Mother tells me to keep quiet. When I walk around the house, Mother says that my footsteps are too loud. When I become excited, Mother reprimands me for misbehaving. Don't smell the dust, kid. <sighs> yeah, that's some good stuff. Mother reprimands me for misbehaving. One evening, she has a breakdown over unsought the clothes in drawers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, shit, Charles. Charles, why, why can't you just sort your clothes, Charles? Come on, Charles. We're talking normally. Then the next moment, the house is filled with shouting and sounds of my clothes being violently thrown on the, on the floor. There must be something else she's angry at, but I'm too young to understand. I apologize over and over, promising I won't do that ever again, as if I committed a grave sin. I'm sorry, mother. I can make everything right. I won't become a burden. Oh, concert. We're having a concert to celebrate autumn. Our nurses are wearing dresses with paper, paper maple, maple leaves soon onto them. That was kind of a tongue twist I felt like. Paper maple leaves. I don't think no. It, it, it kind of felt like a little tongue twister there for me. Soon sewn onto them. I recite the poem aloud, trying not to mess it up halfway. It has four lines. I'm so nervous that my voice comes out too quietly, even though I recite it perfectly. Vincent got six lines. It must be because the nurses think he's the smartest in the group. Hell, he even goes to chess club. That nerd. Vincent recites the poem in a monotonous voice like he doesn't give a care. Oh, look how cute he is. Vincent's almost always the last to be picked up by his parents. Sometimes nobody comes, and he just goes home alone. I tell mom about that, and she totally freaks out. How can a child go home by himself? She exclaims, shocked. What are, what are his parents thinking? I don't know what to say to that. Valentine's Day, oh my god. It's Valentine's Day. Owen gets tangerines and kinder surprises for lunch. I get sick and throw up onto my festive shirt. I didn't like it much anyway. Mom did though. Vincent is at the nurse's office too. He tripped and scraped his knee. Oh my god, he's dying. The nurse is drawing a net on it with green antiseptic. The scrape seems bad, but it's not even wincing. He stares sting blank. Doesn't he feel any pain? Maybe it's actually a robot. I want to ask him that, but my headache is too strong, so I ignore him. All I want to do all I want is to go home and watch cartoons in bed. Same bro, same. Thankfully. Mom's quick to come to my rescue. Afterwards, I stay at home for a whole week. Ooh, new stage. New stage. New Super Mario. Time passes fast. My kindergarten graduation album is filled with pictures of other kids running around and a macro photograph of myself in some kind of medieval clothing from the photo shoot. It's my favorite one, but I'll never admit that. I can barely contain my excitement for the first day of school. Vincent goes to a different one. But it doesn't matter. I didn't like it much anyway. Oh, friends. Friends, are we gonna become friends now? Elementary school is boring. I solve all the problems in my math tower workbook in one evening, and as a consequence, end up dying of boredom in actual lessons. Okay, I don't know if, uh, is this a choice-based game? Like, it seemed like I could, like, it said I was able to skip text that I already seen, but I'm not even, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get choices, like, Maybe maybe they just uh, caught kinetic equals multiple endings if I recall. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Kinetic means that. Okay, okay. I didn't know that. Now I was kind of thinking that this is like RPG maker just for visual novels. So they had just copied the format without implementing it, you know? So, I don't fucking know. But okay, there are choices. Okay, we'll see later. I solve all the problems in my math workbook in one evening. And as a consequence, end up dying of boredom at actual lessons. Can I just say that I fucking love visual... Like, I don't play a lot of visual novels. I've only played a few, you know, like Doki Doki and uh, I'm, saying, I'm not sure what to make of this yet, but at least it's not talking about maggots, true. But uh, yeah, for, I, I love it when visual always have like skip text that you've already seen, you know. Makes it way easier to know what you have seen and not seen before. I think that's pretty, pretty good. So all the problems in math workbook in one evening, and as a consequence, end up dying of boredom at actual lessons. Shouldn't there be a faster way to do this? 
As the school days pass, I get so excited about my intellectual abilities that I point out all those mistakes every time I notice them. The girl sitting next to me seems to enjoy my company, mainly because she gets to copy my answers during tests. In the meantime, I find a new way to make friends. All you have to do is buy them food or share yours. So then everyone will gather around you, excited to get sweets for free. I spend all my pocket money on snacks and still uh, end up getting chosen last at PE lessons. Aw oh, man. Life pro tips. Yeah, but he still gets chosen last at PE, that's kind of sad. But hey, you know. If, if you don't have any friends, just bribe them. Just bribe them, you know. That's what I do with the, pol the local police, you know. It takes me some time and an after school beating. Wait, it takes me some time and an after school beating to le learn not to poke my nose into others' business. It's not my fault people cheat on tests. I'm just doing what's right. At least, that's what I think. Apparently, people don't like snitches. Nor do they like being responsible or proper. While I'm doing everything not to be a burden, they're giving it all to cause trouble. I feel like this will take some time to sink in. Over the years, I learned to keep my mouth shut. From a moderately talkative kid, I turned into a complete class ghost. By the end of fourth year, everyone still calls me by my last name. Ah, oh, that's sad. Reunion. Are we gonna get reunited with Vincent? In middle school, we see each other again. <gasps> Vincent looks more frail than I remember him being. Maybe it's just that I've gotten taller. When he sees me, he smiles. In fact, he smiles to everyone. The usual unchanging blank expression that he had in kindergarten is gone from his face. Replaced with a mask. It's unsettling. I don't smile back. Somehow, we end up doing a class project together. By the time I gathered the courage to ask someone to invite me, everyone else had already found a partner. But there was an open spot in this group. The other two kids just want easy marks, so only the two of us actually end up working. Vincent is surprisingly nice to work with. He's a good team player. Very considerate and giving his all to complete the task. A complete contrast to most of the kids. For the first time in a while, I have fun working in the group. System notification. One incoming message from Charles. I was kind of wondering, like, system notification? I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Is this hacking my, my computer? <laughs> but okay, one incoming message from Charles. Here, I'm sending over the presentation files. Great work. Maybe this is connecting back to the main story. Hmm, maybe, perhaps. Great work. Let's do our best tomorrow. He's, he's thankful for my effort. This may be the first time in five years of school. I'm so moved that I put his name first on the project's title slide. Fuck yeah. Vincent Redemption arc, hell yeah. But Im imagine you have, a, you have a project with someone and they put your name first. Like, that's, that's wholesome. That's wholesome. You know? It's a project presentation day. Vincent, who was chosen as a group press representative, has a clear, powerful voice. Unlike me, who gets so anxious that I start to stumble on every word, earning giggles from classmates. I hate myself for it. Regardless, our group gets the highest marks. Maybe teamwork isn't half bad, I catch myself thinking. Oh, weakling. Weakling. Oh god. Vincent loses consciousness during one of our PE lessons. I never really noticed it before, but he really has the worst stamina in class. While I fail all the speed tests, I can endure running long distances just fine. He, however, looks completely exhausted after exhausted just after just a few laps. After overhearing one of the conversations between teachers, I learned that Vincent has health complications. Huh, <laughs> Fennel's not running again. Oh, he has a weak heart. Or was it anemia? He's the best student in class. When he's pushing himself too hard, people like that people like that don't live long. Michael died from a stroke. Really? Vincent dying? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? They're just talking like casually like that? What the fuck? Okay. Jesus Christ, man. That's sad. Vincent dying? The possibility has never occurred to me before. Maybe children don't think too deeply about life and death in general. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, that might be pro probably why they are so casual about it. Kids suck. Exactly. That's why I'm never gonna have kids. Fuck them. They suck. Uh, unless it's like in a in a movie or a video game or stuff like that. Like, it's kind of weird, but I see kids in movies or TV shows and stuff, I'm like, uh, like, yeah, they're so cute. Oh, I would love to have my, my kid. But then in, the re in, the, in real life, I'm like, fuck that. I want to have a kid because I know, I know they will never be like that, you know? Well, maybe don't do that. But fuck it. Well, I didn't say that. I, I meant fuck them. As, fuck off, you know? Fuck off. Oops, sorry. Let me do yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's- yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't need to tell me that. I know that's bad. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Look at it. I look at him. 
sitting on a bench at the theater watching us run. We never really talk, but I've been watching him for a while. So to me, it feels like we share a connection. But Henry at the back hole. Oh, Henry, let's go. I often volunteer to stay behind our class duty. Henry at the back hole gets pulled into it. The other girls call her smelly and cow, cow tits. Make her do things instead of them. Again, again, fuck kids. Like, don't actually fuck them. Like, I mean, fuck them as in, fuck off, you know? They can fuck off. If all the kids in the world died, I, um, I will not care, you know? Like, fuck that. Good save. Yeah, good save. Kill them. Destroy them. You know? So the girls call her smelly. And cow tits. And make her do things instead of them. So right now, it's just unenthusiastically unenthusi scrubbing a dirty desk with a wet rag. You should use detergent to scrub this off. Don't tell me what to do either. Why are you even here? It's not your turn to clean. I like cleaning. Or more like, I can't trust anyone with it. Everyone's too sloppy and lazy to properly clean all the dust. Just thinking of sitting behind a dirty desk makes my skin crawl. Weirdo. You can go home. I plan to stay after lessons anyway. A piano class coming up in two hours. Just enough time to clean and do homework. No, I'll stay. Still waiting outside. If I go too early, they might think I'm slacking off. Damn, that's complicated. Okay. We clean in silence. I don't really know what to talk about with her. Henry doesn't seem like she's up for discussing homework either. Henrietta? Yes? Give me your hand. Oh, I placed a candy in it. Yeah, good work today. Carrying snacks around still remains as a habit of mine. Might as well try to win Warhol's goodwill with it. Henrietta stays weirdly silent. There isn't anything wrong with it, right? Unless you don't like barbary flavor? <laughs> oh. Thanks. You're welcome. Barbary? Barbary Streisand. Pro probably like blueberry or something. I don't fucking know. What the fuck is barbary? I don't fucking know. Henrietta awkwardly stumbles out of the classroom without saying so much as a goodbye. Weeks later, we start talking during lunch break sometimes. Uh, Burberry's Bulgaris, commonly known as Barbary, is a shrub that grows tart, red berries. That's obscure. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I've ever heard about Barbary. Weeks later, we start talking during lunch break sometimes. The other girls mock and tease her for it, but Henrietta learns to talk back. Maybe she's more confident about herself when she feels less alone. Ooh, three incoming messages from Henry. Okay, listen up, Adler. We're gonna get rid of your uh, acne. I want to send you a list of skincare products and food to avoid. But mom! <laughs> oh god, she's already calling her uh, mommy. <laughs> no bets. For clean freak, you sure hate looking after yourself. Past. Okay, mommy. Mother never tells me anything about the past. Or father, and I never ask. It's something we never talk about. All I can do is listen to her occasionally cry at night and keep quiet about it in the morning. She's holding up well, but I can't help but worry that one day she might trip and fall, and never get up. The thought makes my hands itch, and I spent 10 minutes in the bathroom trying to wash it off. I want to grow up and become someone she can depend on. Ooh, interlude, alone. That's obscure, well, mm hmm It's quiet in the mind library. I'm hunched over a language work with trying to fill in the blanks, but all the letters come out jumbled. I write them over and over again, until the pages are filled with illegible scribbles. Ray peeks over my shoulder like nothing's wrong. Doing someone's homework again, Miss Fultshire? You do know that it's not your obligation to do it, do you? Don't you? Oh, Charlotte. It's for a friend. Ah, so that's why you couldn't turn them down. Because they said you're friends? What? Was it so wrong to believe them, Ray? No, of course not. Miss Fultshire is a very earnest girl, after all. Too gullible for her own good. You see, what your so-called friend used was a keyword. A password that doesn't mean anything. You heard it and immediately thought of the meaning you had for it. You may have thought the other person meant, I want to help and understand you, but in reality meant, I want to use you for my own needs. Sure, they could have been honest with you, but would you be doing this for them if you knew the truth? Right, right? That doesn't make them evil, per se. If they were the main character, I'm sure the viewers would understand their way of thinking. Frey runs his thing. Oh yeah, uh, fucking I forgot that's a guy. <laughs> I, I forget the four eyed ones are uh, guys and three eyed ones are girls. Frey runs his finger over a messed up sentence and stops at the period mark. 
The true evil lies in middle words, Miss Wilshire. Remember that. I absent-mindedly look at the ruined workbook. Still, if I don't do as they say, I'll be left all alone. This is all I'm good for, anyway. Fred leans his head on me, but I have no strength left to show him away. You know, that's not, that's not true, Miss Wilshire. You just, you just want someone to make you feel better about yourself. Even if it's someone you despise. But don't worry, I know a, a all the words you want to hear. You may feel like you're never doing enough, but in reality you're always doing your best, aren't you? Hmm, interesting. Sus. Indeed. Let me just let me put the foot up. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Here we go. During the first year of high school, we go on a school trip. <gasps> oh my god, we're going on that trip. I don't have anyone to make promises about Oh, I don't have anyone to, to make promises about singing together with. So right now, I'm left with three choices. Sitting with the teacher, sitting with one of the class bullies, or C, approaching Mr. Fennel, who happens to have a seat open near him. I decided the ladder is the lesser evil. Mind if I sit there? Not at all. Thanks. Oh, now that I think of it, it's the front seat. I shouldn't be taking it. You can just change with someone if they get car sick. I, for one, can't sit in the back. I always get dizzy. Sucks to be you. Mr. laughs dryly. His laughter doesn't reach his eyes. Crap, I just messed up my second informal conversation with him. By the time I gather myself again, Vincent's long since asleep. Oh my god, look at him. He's sleeping. His head is bumping against the bus window in small intervals. I bring up my MP3 player, but minutes later, everyone decides to watch an action movie. The loud sound doesn't seem to bother Vincent with sleeping with earplugs. I should have brought some too. In the end, I settle on watching the movie and lose the track of time. By the time we arrive at the hotel, it's past midnight. I get a room with three guys who don't mind me ditching them during the night. Success! I best still get to drink and play cards in someone else's room. Until sunrise and at worst one of them brought drugs. Maybe both. We get up the stairs and lock our room. It has a bed and a shower, so it's perfect. My classmates leave the room as soon as they finish unpacking. As expected, they don't bother inviting me anywhere. Glad they know I hate having fun. I spent half of the night sketching ideas for comics I might draw someday. I often feel like I've seen them before. In the morning, I emit the light of freshness. I like being up early. The hotel dining room is dead silent, like a symmetry. All my classmates, only someone, some girls and Vincent are present. I decide to drop in to sit near him. Morning! Good morning, I didn't see you last night. Was getting my beauty sleep. Did you party with everyone? Of course. I have to admit, I have a hard time imagining you drinking. Why? I have high alcohol tolerance. Unlike many. Ugh, don't remind me. I woke up to sounds of someone puking in the toilet next door. Ah, unpleasant. Ah, unpleasant, isn't it? My face, face says it all. Uh, still, the image of Vincent drowning, downing alcohol like a glass of juice seems really fun to me, so I can't help but laugh out loud. Eh, yeah, true. It's, it, it, it sounds kind of weird, Vincent uh, drinking alcohol. That sounds kind of weird. It doesn't feel like it makes any sense, but I guess it does. Vincent gives me a questioning look, so I quickly try to change the topic before I ask anything. When I drink, I just become sleepy. Boring, right? But can you see on his hands? His hands are like... Uh, it's got like some... Uh, okay, what's this? What's this called again? Like it, it's, yeah, there's something wrong with the skin of his hands. Anyway. Boring, right? Probably from all the wa washing. Facts. Facts. Boring, right? <laughs> is that so? I told you it'd be the time to talk a lot. Nah. If anything, I shut up for good. Then fall asleep. I think I'm the type, type people will call an ambulance for because they drunkly think I died of lethal ethanol intake. You sound like you speak from experience. Well, uh... The trip itself is nothing special. Art museums never interested me much. During one of the excursions, Henrietta get gets lost and I volunteer to look for her. Thankfully, I spot her at the statue near the museum with a dead phone. Henrietta doesn't let go of my shirt until we get back to the group. The night at the hotel on the way back doesn't go as smoothly as the first one. This time, I have to share a room with a guy who doesn't mind other people seeing him make out with his girlfriend right in the room. I do, so I grab my jacket and make my escape. It's already past curfew. Probably not the best idea to spend the night on the hotel stairs, but whatever. Just as I start to doze off, someone shakes my shoulder. Is it Vincent? <gasps> Lur, Charles? Oh, uh, wait, Lur. Eilor. Ah, Eilor. You'll catch a cold if you sleep here. It's Vincent. Ah, thanks. I didn't mean to fall asleep. Why are you out at this hour? 
Just want to get some fresh air. I do enjoy night, night walks. We're not allowed to leave the rooms at night, you know. Then may I ask why you're here? Uh, I guess I'm not a fan of voyeurism. Voyeurism. Is, is that like looking at people kissing? Is that voyeurism? What? No, that sounds bad. Forget it. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing there are problems with your roommate. Yeah, that's a pleasant way to put it. Spying on people. Yeah. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, that's a pleasant way to put it. I can use less pretty words, but it'll leave a bad taste in my mouth. Vincent looks at the nice guy. It's nicer. So quiet. I don't have to wake up to shouting. I don't know what to say to that, so I just pick up my skin. Sorry, I said too much. No, that's fine, beautiful, awful. None of these seem to fit. I'm not someone who should comment. We sit in, sil we sit in silence for some time. That being said, do you plan to return to your room? Nah, I'll wait it out a bit more. I see. Well, good night then. Night, thanks for keeping me company. It's my pleasure. Half an hour later, I turn to my room. I want to find my classmates sleeping soundly. This asshole. I fall asleep thinking that it would be nice to go somewhere with my class again. Ooh, passwords. Ooh. Passwords. Incoming message from Vincent. Would you mind joining me for lunch? Sure. Just gonna grab something to eat. Is it the usual place? Yes. I'll be going ahead then. Vincent likes to eat outside. It's more quiet here, he says. As the class trip, we started hanging out more often. Sometimes he invites me for lunch, like today. Don't you think the education system is flawed? Vincent brings, his, brings a hand to his chin, thoughtful. Depends on what you define as a flaw. If the main objective of education is discipline, then it is essential to have a hierarchy. Hmm. I'm going to think about the things we learn. Take today's test, for example. Do you actually know what the entropy of isolated systems never decreases means? Can you explain that? No, not really. I just learned the material needed to answer questions. See? You only learn the answer the teacher wants to see. Not only will you forget this knowledge, but you'll have no clue what you were writing about. Facts. We're only learning key words that we don't know the meaning of. I don't get any practical knowledge. Hey man. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, okay? That's pretty... That's pretty... Uh, Important to know. Mitochondria. Powerhouse of the cell. We're only learning keywords we don't know the meaning of, and don't gain any practical knowledge. Okay, I understand where you're coming from. If you can't find useful theoretical knowledge, then it's meaningless, right? However, I won't use this statement as an excuse to slack off. Or accuse people of using bad teaching methods for that matter. Right, I just want you to hear me out on this. If given the opportunity, I'd like to change something myself. It'd be ridiculous to tell others how to do the work. I'm relieved you understand. I think it's not just the education system that uses keywords. Keywords, though. Words that carry no meaning later our speech in everyday life. Then, mass media is just entirely made of, Wait. Then, mass media is just entirely made out of them. It's just template phrases that are guaranteed to cause a reaction. While the hidden objective may be entirely different... Yeah, like articles bashing local art exhibitions are actually written to promote them. Oh, crap. I think the break will end soon. You still haven't finished your food. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about me. Clickbait, woo. We hurriedly finish our mother's lunch and run to class. Cuberty. Oh shit, they're hitting Cuberty, boys. Let's go. Oh boy, I mean, since. It's on us too. Boy. The older we get, the more disturbed and obnoxious everyone becomes. The time to connect, clumsily, erratically. Which I understand to some degree, but I've always been fine in my own company. Also Vincent, but he can't be tired. He can be tiring too. Sometimes he starts uh, ranting on subjects I don't understand, which gets tedious. Like hell, do I give a like hell do I give a damn about politics? Go back to your containment board for God's sake. Henretta isn't a saint either. Am I actually masochistic for enjoying being bad mounted by her? At least she has the same horrible taste in anime. Oh my god, they're watching anime. What the fuck? Fucking weeps! Weep! Miss Marhol, you absolutely have to consult me on dating sims. We can make a fortune of this. Fuck off, Alar. It won't sell. Here, at least. And don't talk so loudly. The other girls will hear. It's your fault for trying to see seem something you're not. So how about it? You and me, a dojin circle? Oh god, they're gonna make fucking hentai. No, I've never written a finished story in my life. Just copy the popular tropes. Everyone, everyone only wants things they're used to. Just go away, Alor. Yeah, you can kind of see that in Marvel movies. I do enjoy Marvel, mov Marvel movies though, and Superman movies, but... Uh, they are kind of they are kind of turning into like a recycling machine. I feel like, anyway, 
Just go away, Alar. But I do enjoy the lore and multiverse thing. I'm, I'm excited for the new Doctor Strange movie. Just go away, Alar. Yo, Baller, go pester someone else. Talking to Miss Varel always lifts up my mood. Follow the formula, indeed. Have you heard of Heaven's Gate? Oh, oh, roll credits, roll credits. Have you heard of Heaven's Gate? The organization that preaches that the world is controlled by alien puppeteers from another world. That's me. That's me. Fucked up, right? Does that mean that their world is more real than ours? What even is real these days? Do you think we could be sad if we refuse to be actors on this stage? Ah, the little people, Mark Zuckerberg. Do you remember when Mark Zuckerberg said he, uh, he, uh, like, uh, he was human? Imagine. Mark Zuckerberg the human. Have you seen his knees? Have you seen how he is bending the knee backwards? Do you think we could be sad if we refuse X and out? Yeah. Every time Mark Zuckerberg starts talking, it's just press X to doubt, you know? <laughs> I think we can be safe if we refuse to be actors on the stage. Maybe we should leave it all together. Uh oh. One incoming message from Charles. What's up with the emergence of the web calls? Oh, what's up with the emergence of the web calls lately? I, I thought it was like, what's up with the emergence of the web calls lately? It is, what's up with the emergence of the web calls lately? What was that accent? What's. What do you mean by that accent? Do you mean like, what's up with the images of the web cults lately? You mean Heaven's Gate? Actually, I help cop copyright the contents for the site. Uh, what? Really? Of course. Any kind of content has curators. This one was meant to be a prank, though. You don't actually believe that we're pu puppets on strings, do you? The text you wrote was awfully convincing, though. <laughs> I'm honored. Why Heaven's Gate, though? We wanted to seem big, despite it being a prank. Does it sound like something promising? Yeah, sounds pretentious as fuck. It doesn't mean anything, really. Just like Heavenly Kingdom doesn't exist. So an empty promise of virtue, huh? Still, isn't it uh, kind of dangerous? People might believe you guys for real. That would be silly, don't you think? Interlude, rationality, oh oh. Oh oh. Oh god, what the fuck? Bennett. Oh shit, it's Bennett. Let's go! Mr. Ha Mr. Honecker, do you think I'd act more rational if I killed my remaining emotions? I don't believe we could be rational with our feelings. Patients with prefrontal cortex brain damage cannot experience emotions. To them, any decision seems as good as the other. For example, when I think of killing someone I care about, I'm overwhelmed with horror. It goes without saying that I'll never do it on a whim. Those feelings are uh, essential for rational thinking. Soap inhibits the prefrontal cortex functionality as a side effect. Well, soap inhibits the prefrontal cortex functionality as a side effect, right? I've been saying it all the time, but consuming it isn't doing you any good. You lose the ability to distinguish the weight of one decision from another. And that means... That means killing me and eating cookies for breakfast will be morally equal to you. Hmm. My point is, killing emotions will only work in your overall mental state. I know what about. If you don't have any morals, then... Eating a cookie and killing someone is, like, it's the same thing, you know? At least for someone with no morals. It's like, eh, I ate a cookie, eh, I, ki I killed uh, the president, you know? My point is, killing emotions will only work in your overall mental state. It's okay to care about that. Even better if you kill someone and then eat them. Oh god, fucking Charlotte. Charlotte, you know? Efficiency, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. It's okay to care, it's okay, it's okay to care about that. Then it croaks out and laugh. Ooh, number 17. Trust. Vincent peeks over my shoulder, startling me with his voice. Are you writing something? What the fuck? I, what the fuck did he skip something? I, I didn't... What the fuck did he just do? Okay, let me just... History. Look like I can look at history. Are you writing something? Haha, <laughs> this barely counts as writing. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at his history button, you know. You can't fuck me over now, game. I mastered the... Uh, the uh, load bags. <laughs> this pillar counts as riding. Fennel steps over the bench, now facing me directly. Are you dissatisfied with what you're making? No, no, not exactly. Not more than usual, it's just... I don't know how to communicate my thoughts to others. The whole plot looks too contrived. I'd stop reading after the first page. Hmm... Do you think your readers are stupid? No. If anything, it's my own fault that I'm a clumsy writer, not theirs. Then... Do you not trust them? I don't... I mean, I really want to. But I'd be lying if I said I did. I see. 
If you can't bring it around no matter what, why not prove that you yourself can be trusted? Wait, why not prove that you yourself can be trusted? Vincent leans closer into my personal space, making me recall a bit. Show that you've done your research, that you're knowledgeable about the subjects you're handling, that you're involved as much as your reader is. Why, why does it look so ominous? Vincent looks really ominous, sir. That you're involved as much as your reader is, that you're prepared to bear your mind and soul. His presence is overbearing. Vincent looms over me. My breathing hitches. I feel small. Won't I be making a fool of myself if I admit my weaknesses? Yes, it'll make you vulnerable. Vulnerable. I'll leave you in the open. Naked in public. Guts out. Come. Cup a feel. For one ninety nine only, what the fuck? You're in danger, Charles. Charles, no! I don't know why, but I would... Suddenly, like, I think... I think it was earlier today, I just realized that... Uh, Charles is the same character as in the Henry Stickman games. I don't know, have you, have you played Henry Stickman? Charles is my favorite character though. The guy in the helicopter. Nope, okay, okay. I see, I see. He, he, I highly recommend watching either Markiplier. Uh, yeah, we'll actually say Markiplier, watch this. Or Jacksepticeye. But the he, most likely Markiplier. I think I prefer Markiplier's Let's Play of it. It's just a dumb game where you pick choices and you die all the time. Uh, there's no gameplay really, you just pick the choice and then start a cutscene place. But uh, it's it's pretty funny. Can you put the name in the chat? Uh, yeah, hold up. Okay, it's just probably gonna ruin everything. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Henry Stickman. There we go. Henry Stickman. There we go. I think that... I think that game is pretty... Oh, fucking hell. History. Let me see. For one and then only. Okay. Trailing, right? Thanks. No problem, man. I highly recommend just uh, what, like, they're not long games either, they're like 20 minutes long or something like that, so If you want you can play it yourself, or you can just watch Markiplier play it, or something like that But if you have to watch one of them, I highly recommend Markiplier, because he's I will say he is the most invested out of them, maybe, I don't know Anyway, thrilling, right? You Yet still, you'll be the one in control Because it was your con conscious decision to reveal the information, wait it was your conscious decision to reveal the information, and you hold power over it. With those words, Vincent leaves my personal bubble and drops on a bench beside me. That's kind of true. If you have a weakness and you re you reveal it, you're showing everybody that you you don't like, that you don't really care, that you're more powerful than them because they are not. Other people are not willing to show their weaknesses, but if you show your weakness, then they're then you're gonna show that you're stronger than them, mental mentally and stuff, you know. With those words, Vincent leaves some personal bubble and drops on a bench beside me. Having nothing to hide puts you at both an advantage and disadvantage, but my opinion is that it's worth it. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to go about it. Not sure if that works that way, but it does make you less likely to get shafted later. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, people won't be able to blackmail. Like, if you accidentally reveal your weakness and then you, uh, you try to hide it, people are gonna try to uh, take advantage of you by blackmailing and stuff, you know? So, but uh, if you... But if you just reveal it to everybody, then nobody will uh, give a shit, you know? Or they will give a shit in a, in a short time span. Maybe for a week or something, or a month, but then they will stop caring, now. Anyway, ha, I suppose that's one way to go about it. If it me, I'd rather have the work exist separately from its, from its other. If anything, I prefer working as anonymously as possible. Yes, I'm not saying my approach will work for each and every person. You should choose what suits you best. But most importantly, don't underestimate your readers. Make them feel like your story is the best thing they ever experienced. Make them feel like they can only feel that way with you. And there you have it, a story you can be proud of. <laughs> to me put it sounds like uh, selling your mind to others. <laughs> Doesn't it? Hello, oh, does it? I call it sharing. Besides, being insincere in your work will result in flavorless throwaway texts. Do you want to write disposable garbage like that? Just realized in the main games they first saw each other IRL when Vincent was about to jump. So this is definitely a different timeline. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, no. The first time they saw each other was that. Was the timeline, right? So yeah, this this is a different timeline. I know, I know. The first time they saw each other was when they met up right before Vincent killed himself, so. Yeah, this is a different timeline. You want to write disposable garbage like that? Mr. Fennel, you're intense. That's a lot of knowledge for someone as young as you, Mr. Fennel. I'm just saying what I've learned from more, ex more experienced writers. And I suppose I'm really passionate about writing. Oh, I didn't. I was wondering if, if it had diverged, but it diverged ages ago. Kinda neat, yeah. 
Oh, I didn't know. Is he finding something too? Just look like you need the device. Were the votes I chose enough? Yeah, thanks. Oh, we won. Actually, would you like to read what I've written so far? I think I can give you some feedback. Sure. Don't expect mercy. Bring it down. I'll fetch you my notebook next week then. Oh, wait, wait. But who, who said the... Uh... Yeah, okay, it was Charles who said that. There's a lot written, so you can take your time with it. Our conversation is cut up by the ringing school bell. During our final high school year, Vincent joins the student council and invites me to do the same. Didn't you mention that you want to influence school life, if possible? I believe it's a good opportunity to do so. I think it's not about good ideas, but rather built to convince others. Which is something you have. And right now, I'm using it to convince you to try it. Ugh, so persistent. Okay, fine, I'll tag along. Success, you'll definitely regret it. <laughs> Wait, that's the opposite words of encouragement. Ha ha ha. It's past 6pm. We're once of the last students leaving school. I stretch and allow myself to let out a prolonged yawn. Today's meeting was so tiring. I need to know people there soon. Mm, I can understand that. Says Vincent who talked during the whole meeting. I don't even have energy for all that arguing. <laughs> I just enjoy good dis discussion. More like uncivilized discourse. Everyone was basically trying to shout louder than others. Thrilling, isn't it? I can't believe you. I'm joking. It was indeed a bit tiring. I'm not a big fan of the noise. However, I don't feel like going home just yet. Well, the weather's not bad. I was planning to invite you for a walk anyway. Alright, should we walk in silence a while? Good plan. Ah yes, I, meet, I too enjoy walking silently beside someone for hours on end. Wait, what does it say? Let me wish I lose focus and feel the world around me slow down. Yeah, you might, let's just do this so I can actually have a mic up and... So I can actually have my mouth close to the mic. Let my vision lose focus and feel the vo world around me slow down. We part ways after an hour of strolling around the park. Feeling re-energized, I spend the whole evening leisurely studying subjects ahead of the program. Ooh, social media, fucking... Mark Zuckerberg, we're waiting for the next class to start. Henrietta sits near me on the window still, dosing off with a ch chemical textbook in her hands. Or chemistry. I'm so tired of social media. Everyone's talking so much, but no one's talking about things that really matter. I feel bad for contributing. Henrietta yawns, stretches, then pinches my nose. What do you think people should be talking about then, genius? And who are you to decide what matters and what doesn't? Shut it, I know, I'm just saying how I feel. And I feel tired. Your judgments are useless then. It's like wanting a teenage melodrama to have a deeper meaning. Want something profound? Read a book. Or go talk to a fan It's like a combination of a therapist and a saint. It's no wonder you love that. Where do trivialize him? He's like a god. A human. You're just biased because he validates you. Okay, good point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still, I don't get it. What's so good about him? Aren't you singing him praises just because he's polite? Just because he has a human decency to make effort to be kind to others? He's hardworking, reliable, and after talking to him, I always feel like I've ascended to some new level of human consciousness. Also, he appreciates the concept of personal space, unlike some. Ugh, are you done yet? No, you're just being jealous. Go fuck yourself, Eiler. See? No human decency. Vincent would be like, would you kindly back off? That's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, might as well be. Uh, <coughs> I wonder if he's ever gotten... I wonder, if, oh, I wonder if he's ever gotten angry at someone. He just has high self-control. I just... I lost mine somewhere along the way when I tried to prove that I'm not a doormat for others to step on. Ah, so she's conscious about her attitude, after all. Mean Henry is the best Henry. Actually, any Henry is great. I can't exactly tell you not to worry about it, though. But I like you the way you are. Okay. Sessions. Cool. That was a good talk. But sessions. Vincent comes over to do a research project for school. I welcome him into my room with rubber gloves still in my hands. Anner, you look proud of yourself. Of course. Cleaning, done. Clothes, ironed. Hotel, Trivago. I can focus on schoolwork in peace. Good. You seem to be especially scrupulous when it comes to organizing. I just can't seem to focus when there is something out of place. I end up thinking about a single sheet of paper lying around, unsorted, instead of doing something useful. Oh, but that's not the worst of it. Must be, though. My workspace isn't very organizing in comparison, although I don't have uh, many personal possessions. Don't like stuff piling up? That too, and perhaps I'm not very sentimental. 
I briefly wonder if that's really the only reason, but to sign not to press on. Let's change the topic. That being said, remember when we were all about collecting stickers and stuff? Yeah, everyone was crazy about trading. I still have my collection. I can't bring myself to throw away my cat toys too. It's kind of embarrassing. Why? You must have loved them a lot. Having things you love doesn't make you seem infa infantile. Well, yeah, when you put it like that. What about you? Didn't you have your favorite stuff? Uh, no. I don't know about popular things regardless of whether I like them or not. Oh, I see. And then... Then I threw them away as soon as they became useless. At this moment, Vincent's gaze seemed empty. His face didn't convey any particular emotion, even though he was smiling, which felt horrible out of place. For a second, it felt like we weren't talking about bootleg Digimon stickers, but something else entirely. Well, uh, yeah, I see. You must have no interest in material possessions. That's, am that's admirable. Vincent pauses for a bit, then answers. Yeah, that must be it. His words sound hollow. That's kind of sad. Uncertainty. Uh, the sun is about to rise. Henry's fallen asleep in a beanbag with a joystick in his hands. N not that there is a sad thing being not caring about material, not being a materialistic guy, you know, but I, I think there's some, some stuff that you should care about, you know? Like, you don't have to care about everything you own, you know, but... But uh, there, I, I believe there, is, there should be at least a couple of things a normal people, a normal person should care about. But of course, if you don't care about that, then that's okay. So it's about Raz. Henry's fallen asleep on a beanbag. Wait, Henry's fallen asleep on a beanbag with a joystick in his hand. Henry comes to hang out on weekends. Sometimes she brings a brother, whom she's begrudgingly babysitting. That's not a joystick. Uh, that looks like a fucking... Uh, that looks like a SNES controller. Doesn't it? It looks like a SNES controller, right? Like the Super Nintendo, you know? Like, you can see the... Uh, the D-pad there, and uh, yeah, it looks exactly like a, a Super Nintendo. Yeah, but with more buttons. Does it have more buttons? I just have more buttons. There are four buttons, like there are two that buttons this way and two buttons that way, and then a D-pad. It doesn't have more. It look like it doesn't have more buttons than uh, SNES, I think. Does it? Oh wait, yeah, I see it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, sometimes she brings her brother, whom she's begrudgingly babysitting. We play video games and eat snacks. When Andrew's not in the school environment, she's far less stressed out. The lines are wrong, threw me off. Wait, what? Oh, the lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think they're supposed to go that way, right? Like, this way, but it's going this way instead now. It's, go it's going the opposite, like the opposite. Yeah. When Andrew's not in the school environment, she's far less stressed out. Even her voice sounds lower than usual. Cap, your brother is good at rhythm games. Yeah, I use you. Yeah, use him as you like if you need to score for the combos. That's all it's good for anyway. Aren't you being a little harsh? He deserves to be being a lazy ass. Have you seen his grades? It's like he's made it a goal for himself to become the worst unit of the year. Maybe his mind just works differently from the rest? Yeah, that too. But for the most part, he just wants to play MMORPGs all day. All day. I want to help him, but I also want a break from all this shit. I'm tired of working at part-time jobs to help parents sustain this lifestyle. Do you know how much uh, console games cost? Add that to a monthly MMO subscription, World of Warcraft, gotcha pulls and merchandise and you'll get my monthly salary. Your parents don't have to buy all of that, you know? Henry says they motivate him, so if they don't, he just refuses to leave the room. Sheesh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> Sheesh. Henry looks to the ceiling, contemplating something. Eilor, I was thinking. Yes. Aren't we actually dating? What? Henry starts counting on her fingers. Look, it's the fifth time I'm staying over. You take me out for nice food and carry my bags when I'm shopping. You even look after my brother when I'm busy. Aren't all of these just things a decent person will do, Miss Verrill? I fail to see your point. Aren't you the one who's always like, Ah, I wish someone would call me Prince and take me on cute dates. We buy matching clothes, a cuddle on the sofa, and then just me with her elbow, violently. Yeah, you're far from that. Please don't use that squeaky voice to imitate me ever again. Not the cat eyes, yeah. <laughs> I like those eyes. Still, what should we call this? Does it need a specific term? If we're talking about becoming each other's possession, then I'm against it. No one ever belongs to anyone. Yet for some reason everyone thinks a meaningless string of letters can bind people to them. 
Is it normal to want something you can call your own? It rubs me the wrong way. That would mean treating others as commodities, which in turn contributes to a mindset intrinsic to a capitalist society. Ugh, you just had to bring your pointless philosophy into it. Just say it in normal people words. Sorry. Capitalism, who? Capitalism, damn capitalism, damn communism, damn de Sorry. You know. Sorry. I just don't know yet. And the size. Well, me neither. Hold on, let me try something. And Renee said, kiss me. <gasps> oh my god, let's go, my boy Charles! So, how was it? Hmm. It was supposed to be this amazingly good thing that every story leads up to. But it didn't really feel like anything out of the ordinary. What if it was, hmm, with someone else? Um, I think it'd be the same. You know, I'm not too comfortable with physical stuff. Is there something wrong with me after all? Want me to hit you? Aren't you the one who keeps going on t tirades about everyone experiencing life di differently? Just because I don't understand doesn't mean it's your fault. So I just feel like I'm constantly letting people down. Then find a downer like you, jeez. I'll stop worrying about it. Just look at Fennel being comfortable in his own company. Vincent's always surrounded by people though. Ew, cooties, yeah. Ew, cooties, ew. Vincent's always surrounded by people though. He only started isolating himself just recently. I've only talked to him a few times. It felt like he wasn't even there. He's not really listening to what you say. So my conclusion is that he's full of shit. But at least he's content with it. Maybe it was just bored around you. Maybe, but he's like that around literally everyone. And you kind of suck at reading people. But he's responding to everything... He's responding to everything Charles is saying though. I bet Fenn was the kind of person who'd uh, populate the planet with clones of himself and be happy about it. <gasps> Phidias. 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 <laughs> Where did that come from? If I clone myself or had my personality divided into parts, it'd end in a mass suicide. Phidias. 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 Now you're being weird. Anyway, I guess it's stupid to try and mold you into something or not. If you do everything in a romantic partner world, it's pointless if you're not feeling it. Hmm, I'm sorry. There you go again. Interesting take, indeed. There you go again. It should be a thank you, shouldn't it? You're right, thank you, Henry. Ooh, paralysis. I wake up with a headache, he he headache, I mean, and stumble into the bathroom to brush my teeth. I look into the mirror and notice I only blink with one eye. Weird. Well, whatever. Somebody stole my, uh, my eyelids. I hate it when I get a headache. <laughs> School proceeds as normal, so I start feeling extremely fatigued during the fifth period. Something's not right. I end up calling mom. She always knows what to do. Oh god. It seems like your son has Bell's palsy. It might take around a month to recover. Great, out of all the rare illnesses, my body decides to get this one. Missing a month of school before exams sounds like the worst case scenario. It's just half my face staying unresponsive. Yet my whole body feels numb. Oh shit, is he gonna become like Stephen Hawking? Where his, his whole body is gonna become paralysis, you know? Par paralyzed, paralyzed, I mean. It's just half my face staying unresponsive. Yet my whole body feels numb. Uh, but as far as the unexplained episode of facial muscle weakness or paralysis, it begins suddenly and worsens over 48 hours. This condition results from damage to the face. Uh, this let me see. Wait, wait, wait. This condition results from damage to the facial nerve, the seventh cranial nerve. Pain and discomfort usually occur on one side of the face or head. But as far as can strike anyone at any age. So if anything can happen, good to know. Yeah, that's pretty good to know. Let me just fix something. I think the yeah. I just noticed the chat was, the chat was like, above ab like it was it was in the. In behind the webcam, so I just fixed it a little bit. There we no, fuck. I skipped something. Let me see. Uh, what does it say? Fuck. Uh, history. I can barely focus on the phone screen to type a message back to Andre. It was curious not to investigate my sudden disappearance for less. There we go, okay. Uh, but yeah, that can suddenly just happen. Like, what the fuck? But um, at least it's rare. At least it's rare. It will be cool though to just say like, hey, I've had that, you know. It would be interesting to see. To, imagine you're, you're not being able to blink your eye for a whole month. It sounds like an experience. I'm not sure if it's pl probably not pleasant, but still. Something you can talk about, at least. Uh, one incoming message from Andre. Uh, they're not. You okay? Got hosp hospitalized with face paralysis. The fuck is that? 
The fuck is that indeed? One of my eyes can't blink, my mouth is stuck in a convoluted grimace. Thank god no one will come to visit. I close my eyes, one manually, and hope that the numbness will go away in the morning. It doesn't. Hospital food is tasteless. That doesn't really matter, since I'm going to be discharged tomorrow. Please no. Yeah, he's saying please no, because uh, it uh, his uh, disease hasn't gone away yet. That doesn't really matter, since I'm going to be discharged today. No one stays at hospital for more than two days unless you're fatally injured. Mother asked her acquaintances to give me a ride home. What follow were two weeks of pills and 24 hours sleep and two more weeks of staring at the ceiling because my mind couldn't focus on anything else. Henrietta came to visit while we were sleeping. She brought some uh, printouts from school. Was he sleeping with his eyes, eyes open? That would be kind of wicked. Bless her. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> Among the stuff Henry brought, I find a notebook with Vincent's name on it. I hope you find these notes useful. Get well soon, said Norton said. I'm mortified. I ended up being a burden to them both. I tried to shake the feeling off and be sincerely grateful, but end up being choked by guilt. I had to catch up. Become better. More capable. If I'm not ahead of others, then my self-worth is no better than zero. I, I need to thank people who care about me soon. When I finally became able to come outside after what felt like forever, then the lines were in full bloom. Okay. So it's... It's uh, fucking... It's... Uh, Spring now. Vincent has his nose spurred into a notebook lately. He's definitely writing something, but I never pry. I think there are two ways to go about writing. To be the one in power, or to give power to your readers. You can write a piece so flawless and complete that your, oh, and complete that your awestruck reader will be rendered speechless. Or create a flawed, seemingly incomplete work, prompting the reader to contribute with better ideas. Which would you prefer? Hmm, playing God or making a fool out of myself? Tough choice indeed. So? The latter sounds like uh, less pressure, so I'll take that one. That way every, every reader can become a co-creator, even if they get laughs at my expense. I see. Besides, if something is considered ideal, you can only make copies of it without creating anything new. That doesn't sound too creative to me. More importantly, what would be your choice? Me? Well, what do you think? I think you want to leave it to a rhetorical question. Charles is not a good girl. What? Wait, did I miss something? Charles is not a good girl. What? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. I think you want to leave it to a rhetorical question. Uh, that was two minutes ago. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway let, let, let's just continue. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what, what I was talking about two minutes ago. God damn it. I think you, I think you want to... Uh, Leave it to a rhetorical question. Or can I just look at the history? Let me see. Uh, mm, mm. Oh yeah, because he's not... Uh, because he's falling behind. Was that it? Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, anyway, I think you want to leave it a rhetorical question. How are your grades coming along, by the way? Well, it looks like I'll be one of the few people invited to the world ceremony. He's burning others. Indeed, indeed. Bad Charles, bad. Spray water on you know. Or pepper spray him. Well, it looks like I'll be one of the few people invited to the award ceremony. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> I didn't really have a choice. Do you think you'll be able to graduate with honors? Nah, I totally blew my, my chem and math grades. Took me a bit of time to come to terms with the fact that I'm not that smart. Wish I didn't grow up thinking that doing well in academics would guarantee me a secure future though. Or anything really. Right now, I just want to sleep my life away. <laughs> By the way, how's your mother feeling? She's okay, surprisingly enough. I'm doing my best to help her too. Even if it means working in retail. I'm sure of it. She used to be far more violent before. Never let a hand on me though. It was always something else. Utensils, clothes, books. The only thing I regret is that as a kid, I tried to make her less aggressive by saying I'll kill myself. Oh. That was extremely selfish of me. I feel like this is a world without Scarlet. Yeah, but wasn't that other one technically technically also a world without Scarlet? But she she got aborted, you know? But maybe she never was... Maybe the mother was never pregnant with Scarlet. Maybe that's it. That was extremely selfish of me. Yeah, but one where the abortion never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Confu confused on Charlotte, though. Uh, what do you think about blurring again? What? Am I blurring again? Fucking hell. Hold up, I'll, uh, I'll fix this, hold up. 
Du, 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 du. Deactivate. Can't, can't wait this is happening all the time. Like, what the fuck? Anyway. There we go. Should be okay now. There we go. That was, ex that was extremely self- Oh, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. Fix it. We saw Charlotte, but Charlotte's equals Scarlet, right? Nah, it also equals Char Charles, though. Like... Like, uh, uh, Charlotte is uh, Charles, you know, like, his, his mind. You remember when they were chatting on the computer? He, he called himself Charlotte, you know, before he met uh, C or Vincent, you know. On the online chatting, or when he was on the 11th, 11th, 11th floor, he called himself Charlotte, you know, on the online social media thingy. So, he is Charlotte, but uh, that, was the, that was in the world with Scarlet, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, still, you know. Or at the time it was Scarlet was aborted. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, no. But uh, Charlotte is, is still probably a part of him because he's still thinking about, he's still a writer, you know, like in that world. Like both Vincent and Charles are writers, both in this world and the one where, uh, where Scarlet uh, got uh, aborted, you know. He's loyal to his wife in every timeline. Yes, yes, yes. White society, let's go. That was extremely self selfish of me. You were a child. You didn't know any better. Still, it's so weird. Out of all solutions, my four-year-old man always jumps... Four-year-old? What the fuck? I thought this was like ten years ago or something like that, but he's not... Four-year-old? Four years old and threatening his mother... Like, telling his mother, I'm gonna kill myself. Like, what the fuck? What four-year-old tells his mother he's gonna kill himself? What the fuck? Anyway. Out of all solutions, my four-year-old man always jumped to suicide. Vincent touches the bruise on his cheek only somewhat consciously. I guess I just want to guilt trip her into caring. Once that idea is planted, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see, so that idea isn't foreign to you, too. What do you mean? It's nothing. Don't worry. Sounds fishy. But as long as you don't want to talk about it, I'll bug off. Thank you. I will hate being pitied. Visit 23. Hmm, maybe I should never come without a warning. But it's Charles, so he won't mind at all. Mind all that much. Oh god. Oh god. Are we playing from Henrietta's perspective? Oh god. I'll just return to this book and go home anyway. Click. It's open. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like this. Ha. Huh. Jeez, when would they fix the lock? Save. Is it even part? Oh yeah, I can save. Let me see. How do I save? Uh, save. Alright, let's save there. I'm scared. I'm scared. I slowly open the door, you know, like in Doki Doki. Oh god, oh god. This is just like so... I'm, I'm getting fucking... Uh, it's all been a month since it's been like this. This place is all the hellhole. Will it hurt them to put more effort into making it a little bit safer? The elevator is taking too long. Did someone just come in? Hmm. Keep quiet and no one will get hurt. You bitch, stop screaming. What the fuck is happening? Somebody help! There's someone opening the door, floors above, and the dog barking. Uh, what the fuck is happening? Is he getting kidnapped? He ran away? I can't say her. What the fuck just happened? Oh, what the fuck is this blood? Uh. Ring. Ring. Who could it be? Suddenly real photos. Yeah, yeah, I know this. Suddenly the real photos. Like the elevator and stuff. Who could it be? Maybe I should pretend we're not home. Oh god. Oh god. It's probably the guy who... Like, there's blood in the elevator, and this is probably from Charles' perspective before. Oh god. Is, is Charles about to get murdered? Or his mom? It's probably Charles. He's probably gonna get murdered. Oh, fuck. Maybe I should pretend we're not home. No, never mind. Okay, okay. This is, this is still the same time. Okay. Henry? There's a trail of blood behind her. It keeps dripping, staining the floor. Oh my god, oh god, did she get stabbed? Or did she get, just get uh, bruised up, like... Uh, oh god, what the fuck, what happened? Shit, okay, don't talk. Mom, call the ambulance. Or, uh, Henry, I'll help you lie down, okay? The blood will get everywhere. Don't worry about it, it's going to be alright. If her lung isn't punctured, that is. Here, serve the makeshift scarf pillow, I'll get you a real one in a bit. I thought to stop the bleeding now, but I uh, only have a theoretical knowledge about it. Forgive me if it hurts. Mom would Google the right way to do it, so trust us. Go oh god. Google it. 
And Risa is quiet. She must be in shock. Help her take off her shirt and to look at the wound. Try not to focus on the blood oozing out. It's most definitely a knife wound. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, this should do it. This guy's just stabbed there and uh, she's alive. Like, holy fuck. Like, oh, like, you don't die. I don't think you die from that, but like, holy fuck. Still. That, that's a pretty heavy. That's a pretty um, awful place to get stabbed. Like, in, in, in this area or in from the back. I don't think. Uh, 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 all, all the organs are mostly in the front, I think. So maybe being sad from the back isn't as bad, I think. I don't know. I throw the blood stain on. Let me see. Is there anywhere that's not an awful place to get stabbed? Uh, like, I'm just thinking, like... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's not... I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just... I don't know if it's a good thing to stab somewhere else. I'm just saying, like... Uh, literally, you know? I know, I know. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you get stabbed in the hand, at least you know you won't die, you know? But uh, getting stabbed, like, if, if I ever get stabbed, like, here or somewhere, like, if I get stabbed anywhere here, I'm going to think my life is in danger. I'm going to die in, in any moment now, you know? Because I'm going to bleed out and die. But, uh, anyway. Center mass. Yeah, center mass. Yeah, if, if you get stabbed in the center mass. But I'm not sure from the back, though. I know if you get stabbed in the front, in the center somewhere, you, you, you're most likely going to die, you know? Especially if it's a deep... Especially if the knife hits you deep, you know? But I'm not sure if from the back, though. Like, I think all the internal organs are usually at the front, right? But, uh, yeah. I throw the bloodstained shirt into cold water and let out a sigh. The ambulance arrives quickly. I follow her to the hospital, hoping that it's nothing serious. When I see Andrew again, she has the same absent minded look on her face. What did they say? No internal organ damage. Okay, okay, okay. See, see. Good, good, good. But it's going to leave a scar. Hey. That's badass, okay? You're a survivor, Andre. That's good. It sucks. Why do things like this happen? Can't everyone live in peace? She begins to tear up. Good art. Yeah, it's good art. Like, that's, that's my favorite thing about this game, I think. All these games. The art. I freaking love everything. The fact that everything looks like it's hand drawn, I love that shit. One of the reasons I loved Omori. Everything is. Okay, not everything, but. Like, uh, all of the art is hand drawn, and uh, e even the idle animation is hand drawn. And it's hand drawn multiple times, so it looks like they're, like, moving a little bit. It got way better as time went on, too. Yeah, 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 exactly. Especially in episode 3. A and this. Like, the this is the best art so far. One of what future games will be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how. Uh, what uh, the developer does, but uh, she begins to tear up. Why must I be cautious of every person I see on the street? Why must I be scared of walking, al walking alone? I'm scared too. Ever since we moved into that place, I've been paranoid of every sound. We got rid of the cockroaches, but the neighbors stayed. Want me to get you some pepper spray? I have some in my bag. I hate it. The very fact that you speak of these things like they're nothing out of the ordinary. But they are ordinary. My mom got sock was on psych for a year. Yeah, no, nah, that's not ordinary, man. It's not ordinary to get uh, to get stabbed or have a stalker. That's not ordinary. Like it might be ordinary to you, but you're Charles, you're not an ordinary person. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, okay, my mom got sock was on psych for a year. I got smacked with a broken ball on the street some time ago. What? I got smacked with a broken ball on the street some time ago. What the fuck? I mean, have you even mentioned this before? Our neighbor's dog got mauled by a pack of strays. Jesus Christ! Life's full of misfortunes like that. What the fuck, Charles? Fuck that. It's unfair. It is. But there's nothing we can do about it, can we? You're always like this. Ignoring the problem instead of doing something about it. Yeah, you, you probably shouldn't talk about other misfortunes, you know? Like... Like, she just got stabbed, and instead of trying to... Uh, like, help her mentally, like, hey, at least you're not a kid in Africa, you know? <laughs> like, uh, it's, you're not helping, man. You're not helping by saying that it, it couldn't have been worse, you know? Like, come on. But do you do about this, though? Uh, stay silent? I don't fucking know. Like, I, I think it's better to stay silent and uh, j j just try to be positive, you know? I'm not sure what, what else you can do, you know? Try be supportive of her, you know? Like, hey, everything's gonna be okay. Nothing's your fault, you know? This, this ain't your fault. No, she, she didn't mention that earlier, no? Like, it's not your fault, it's not your fault, it's not your fault, you know? So, s stuff like that. I don't fucking know. I, I haven't been in this position before, okay? Mr. Arl. 
What? And what's up with the sudden formality? I didn't get to ask, but what exactly happened back then? I don't get it myself. Everything happened so quickly. He told me to stay quiet, but I screamed my lungs out anyway. Maybe I just want my purse. Maybe something else. I don't know. I just want to return the book. And return so I cries into a pillow. Interlude. Wound. By the way, how many... Uh, uh, how many... Uh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with uh, Bennett? Holy fucking shit. But let me just look how many chapters there are. Because... Uh, maybe not. You know what? I'm, I'm pretty close to that, probably. Because... The, it did save us 40 minutes long, you know? Oh yeah, I did see this. Right, I forgot about that. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to look how many chapters there are. We're on chapter 24 now, and... It did say it was for about 40 minutes long. Which is kind of weird, because... It's kind of weird. I expect this stream to be, like, an hour and a half long or something. But I'm in stream for 2 hours and 40 minutes. Like, holy shit. Okay. Examination over. I'm going to disinfect the equipment. You can get, you can get rest. Thanks, Mr. Thanks, Mr. Anker. So, how is it? Hmm, I don't think these bruises will ever heal. Unless we skin you and replace the tissue completely. Yeah, I don't think you want it. Even though you're emotionally dead and... Uh, oh, even though you're emotionally dead unless medicated, it's going to hurt like hell. Eye disease. Can't laugh about that. If it's a smile, I can always give you one. See? Oh my god, he's so cute. Bennett, the precious boy. Just like I was starting laps. Sorry, that's not funny. It's weird, Miss Annika. I'm so desensitized to cruelty and violence that I no longer feel sad or shocked by them. I don't think I'm capable of crying either. Or feeling anything, really. Imagine crying from all your eyes. It's just a big ass waterfall, like... You know? Or feeling anything, really. Everything is just mundane. Well, humans are an adapted species. If all you see every day is atrocities, you can't help but get used to them. Yeah, I guess you're right. Forget I said everything. You hate being sober that much. When I, when I am, I start having thoughts. I'd rather not think, Miss Arnaker. Humans? They were aliens. Yeah, yeah, they're aliens. I know, I know. They're aliens. Aliens. And Bennett came, was uh, like, what the fuck was Bennett again? Like, he was the type of alien, but he was like, uh, also like, over, over men and men, right? He's talking about humans. Hmm. I'd rather not think, Miss Arnaker. That, sh that should be a thing to do. I think they're just talking about humans in general. Maybe, maybe they're just talking about humans because they know about humans, you know? And they're not, they're not referring to themselves, you know? They're just saying that humans do this, but you're doing this, you know? Good night. Well, he's right. It's really not something I should concern myself with. I have to focus on my resource while I still have the time. Love. We're strolling in the park after school again. The weather isn't particularly good, but I have an umbrella with me. <gasps> umbrella man. Vincent doesn't mind the rain, but I do. So follow him like the butler of a rich household. While well, I still have the time. Wait, what? Did I miss a line? Swim park. The weather isn't... Wait, what? While well, I still have the time. Oh, while well, I still have the time. This Felix knows he only lives for two years. Hmm. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just talking about the... Uh, like free time maybe, you know, like uh, maybe it's really busy and doesn't have time to to do his research because he's working with with Huxley maybe. I have to focus on research while I still have the time. He, 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 Felix does work with Huxley, right? So maybe his uh, main, main focus is Huxley and when he's got time he does his own research maybe. I don't fucking know. His throat is bandaged. Vincent doesn't bring it up and I don't ask. We stop at the small bridge. Ah, oh, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a while. No way, is it a love confession, Mr. Fennel? <laughs> Almost. I've been writing a novel. Oh, what's it called? Eder Almanac. I feel like I've heard that. Eder Almanac. Yeah, wasn't that what he was writing, Vincent, before... Didn't he tell... Uh, didn't he tell uh, Charles about that before he jumped over the building? Eder Almanac. Sounds fancy. I'm still in the process of writing it, and frankly, there's a lot to do, but I have published some chapters already. Yep. If you want to give it a read, I'll be happy to share it. Of course, I mean, you can't write badly. <laughs> thank you for the trust. It's a collection of short stories centered around one divine being. It needs a lot of improvement, and I don't expect my target demographic to be older than myself. Still, it's a work I love dearly. It's the first time I've heard him use love in regard to something. I should read it soon, I thought. 
yet ended up postponing it until the very last minute. One shrouding is the mirror of one's soul. I was afraid of my imaginary construct of Vincent shattering upon locking into it. Ooh. Interlude, either arm like, oh shit. Ooh. In the land of eternity, there lived a scientist. Exiled from a homeland for heresy against their beliefs, she decided to travel around the world to see all these wonders. She saw civilizations rise and fall, stars explode, and new forms of life come into existence. After thousands of years of wandering, she began to grow weak in her limbs. She walked and walked until she stumbled and fell down to the ground. There she lay for days, unable to get up on her own. People passed by. Some asked if she was feeling unwell. Some pitied her and gave her food to eat. Some gave advice on how to get back to her feet. But nobody extended a hand. One day she felt someone lift up her weakened frame. She looked up and saw a being she couldn't quite describe, as its form was constantly changing. It was the most fascinating sight she'd ever seen. What are you? the scientist asked. I cannot be defined by mere words, it laughed, amused by the question. Some call me White Queen, but that was only one of my many masks. I am neither a man nor a woman, for I am not human. They say meeting me is a great blessing that happens once in many millions of years. Therefore, how about I grant you one wish, the being offered. Say, what do you wish for? The scientist thought of unlimited knowledge, and the world's treasures, and infallible health, but none of those wonders in Oh, but none of those wonders interest her any longer. Can you remain by my side? she asked, her voice growing weak as the realization that she grew tired of solitude dawned on her. Unfortunately, I cannot grant you that wish, as nothing can bind me, was the divine being's answer, and the scientist hung her head low. However, if it's a lifelong partner you want, without as much as a warning, the creature tore off the scientist's finger, and her identical copy grew from it. What the fuck? As the scientist screamed from the sharp pain that pierced her, the relentless god spoke again. It knows everything you do, and understands you better than anyone ever would. Ever would. It will never leave your. It it will never leave your side, and remain with you in life and death. When your sight fades, it will become your eyes. When you lose strength in your legs, it will carry you in its embrace. Together. You are one. That would be cool though. I want a, I want a clone partner that does my bidding. I dream of falling into a pit of identical corpses. I wake up in a cold sweat. Ooh, different. Number 27, different. Andres, oh, Andres idly browsing a phone as I struggle to finish a mission in a shooter house playing. Wow, fan of sure popular. I just looked up his novel and it says like 15 fan communities. Damn. Oh, what are you acting all surprised for? Aren't you his fan or something? Stop it, I'm not a blind follower. I read this writing the other day. It's good, like really good, but I didn't like it. Whoa, okay, care to explain? Well, the overarching theme of his stories is that only you can save yourself. It's like, other people don't exist, or can't be of any help even if they're around. His characters either choose solitude or end up in circumstances where they are surrounded by their own, own selves. Don't you think it's close-minded to think that way? Wow, Eiler. I knew you were uh, dense as a brick, but not to this extent. What do you mean? Anna rubs her temples and gives me a reprimanding stare. Uh, listen, doesn't all of this remind you of a certain someone? Oh, is that Charles? Breaking. Young people aged 12 to 16 found dead on the shore. Oh shit. The motives behind their deaths remains unclear. Numerous sources report that they all were frequent visitors of Heaven's Gate community website. Oh fuck. Oh god. Hope Vincent doesn't feel uh, any guilt from this. A web cult whose beliefs may have led them to suicide. Ooh. Vincent skipped school for three weeks. Yeah. Not good. When I see him again, there's a mask plastered on his face. Vincent Fennell is... Smiling. Ooh, interval god, that, that was kind of creepy. It's dark in the morgue. We sit on the cold ceramic, ceramic floor. Felix Honecker doesn't have long left to live. Just like the solid game. Yeah, 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 exactly. Felix Honecker doesn't have long left to live. How are you, how are you feeling, Mr. Honecker? 
tired, but that's nothing new. Is everyone putting in all lighter because of me? Yeah, even Florentine told back on soap. Phoenix sighs. Even though I did nothing to deserve this kind of treatment, you all chose to act stupid. What are you sulking for, idiots? You'll see me tomorrow. That person won't be you. I doubt anybody will notice the difference. It's not like I did anything remarkable during my lifespan. Wait, did they know? Yeah, so they know, huh? Huh, interesting. It's not like I did anything remarkable during my lifespan. You give a shit about me, Aldo. You give a shit about everyone. Just like Henry, before I fell ill. It's unfair. We won't know I'm a copy. First, Mr. Honecker tells me it's okay to care. Then he complains when I do. Which is it? Do you believe in God, Bennett? No. Henry Huxley isn't someone as shallow as that. I see. Then it must be the same for me, too. Mr. Honecker, I won't make friends with you the next time we meet. It's a promise, then. What the fuck? <laughs> alright, 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 that's one way to do it. Exams. Exams are stressful. But there's nothing I'm unprepared for. After all, I've always been a diligent student. I get paired with Andre during the language exam, and we pass with flying colors. Vincent, however, remains as distant as ever. For the past month, we haven't gotten to talk at all. I wonder what he's thinking. How disappointing. I can't seem to find any topics to discuss with you, Eil. Oh, how disappointing. I can't seem to find any topics to discuss with you, Eiler. No, no. Vincent's not that petty. The very fact that you thought of me like that makes you the petty one. The truth is yours, imaginary Mr. Fennel. Oh, okay, okay, it's just an imaginary Fennel. I understand that the way I use words impacts people around me, so I decided to distance myself from people who are easily influenced. More possible. But that doesn't that mean he thinks very little of me? There's no guarantee that we'll keep in touch after graduating either. I can't shake off the feeling of frustrating frustration welling up and end up losing sleep at night. I'm so anxious that I decided to discuss it with Henry. She likes food, so I lure in by inviting her to, ca to a cafe. He wrote, what? Henry stabs a cherry tomato on her plate. It makes a popping sound and bursts. Uh, maybe selling her wasn't a good idea after all. So what if it's called... <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say it was so what if it's cult leader, you know? It's not that big of a deal, okay? He's just a cult leader, okay? I want to talk to him again. Besides, he only helped copyright the texts. It's not like he involved himself in the activity. Uh, your mom compass just did a complete 180 right now. Recycle. Listen, listen, I'm sure he understands the weight of his actions. His current isolation must be just da damage control. Are you sure he's not just a control freak who enjoys having power over others? God, Henry, are we talking about the same person here? He's the most tactful person I know. He wouldn't... If you commit suicide because he told you your imaginary world will become real, don't come crying to me. Wait. If you commit suicide because he told you your imaginary world will become real, don't come crying over to me. Yeah, that's like in... Uh, in uh, episode 3. You know? But yeah, that was also... I'm gonna guess that's what Heaven's Gate... Yeah, yeah but they didn't mention that Heaven's Gate, I think. They didn't mention that Heaven's Gate was this... The fact that we were puppets, and if we kill ourselves, we became stargazers, so, uh, yeah. Come cry to me. You can't deny- you can't cry if you're dead, Miss Varel. Ugh. Anyway, Fennel's dangerous, okay? People like him harm others without even realizing it. And create your own universe, yeah. Mm -hmm. That accident- that accident confirmed it. If he's a writer, he should take full responsibility for the messages he is commu communicating. And don't go, it's their own fault on me. But it is, everyone has their own brains. If they decide to self-destruct after hearing they're in a video game, then they were already predisposed to be to it. They just saw the cold site and BAM! Confirmation bias activated. They want the motive, they got it. I will never end my life just because I stumbled on some creepy pasta on the internet. It will take more than that, like mother stuff. On my own health deter deteriorating to the point where I start hurting others, then I Hey stop. Ah, um, sorry. I don't think I'm completely right either. Circumstances are different in each individual's case, I know that. I'm just worried about him. No, Vincent, he'll never talk about himself. Which is okay with me, if that's what he wants. Do I keep ignoring this? What if he... what if... I think I'm running on a field. Children are laughing, illuminated by sun. People like that don't live long. Ugh. True, true that. I, I, I almost forgot that line. Fine, I get it. Talk to him when you get the chance, okay? I'm sure you two will figure something out. 
I walk Andrew home and wave her goodbye. When I see Vincent next time, what shall I tell them? No matter what I'll say, I find myself afraid of hearing his answer. Ooh, graduation. The graduation day finally comes. Time sure flies. Charlie, over here! Who? Oh my god, look at him! He looks like Umbrella Man. <laughs> what the hell? He looks like Umbrella Man here. Who? Hello, do you really not recognize me? Trial day boys, indeed. I think you just aged by nine years. <laughs> um, wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you just aged by nine years. But at the same time, Umbrella Man set was his father, so it makes sense that it looks like his father. <laughs> I think you just aged by nine years. Oh, okay, okay, seven. Please stop kicking me, Miss Arrow. I know, I look good. You do too. I look like my I look like my father. See, see, even he is not acknowledging it. <laughs> I look like my father. And you hate it? I don't know anymore. Ha, <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm like a psychic. I'm well, not psychic, but uh, better. I don't know. I don't know anymore. All that matters is that mother is doing better. And he pats my head. Okay, try to have fun today. Thanks, you too. Y you too. I look for Vincent in the crowd. He's talking to one of the teachers, all smiles as usual. I join in as a shadow. Hey there, you look different. You look tired. <laughs> do I? Well, I suppose I'm not really fond of long ceremonies. Is Miss Farrell not with you? She's participating in a, in a photo shoot with other girls. I ran away as soon as I saw the camera. Visit laughs, visibly amused. And it's too stuffy in this suit. I have to agree. But there's nothing much we can do about it, right? Yeah, I just wanted to be over soon. By the time we get to the rented conference hall, it's already evening. The banquet doesn't interest me, but I already paid for it. So I stuffed myself full with random appetizers. Vincent's dissecting a steamed carrot with the precision of a surgeon at a nearby table. He seems bored. The moment I decide to approach him, he's engaging in a conversation with someone else. Too bad. I decided to look for Henry. I found her surrounded by girls on the floor below. She looks like she's having fun, so I'll leave her to it. It dawns at me that out of all the people in class, I only managed to become somewhat friendly with two. With the rest, I don't really have anything to talk about, unless it's homework. Maybe it's for the best if we forget each other's names after we all go separate ways. In the corner of my eye, I see Vincent leaving the hall. You're leaving? Just taking a walk outside. It's a bit noisy in here. Oh, alright. Doesn't look like he's going to come back. See you later then. See you. Crap, his coat is still here. Oh, something's gonna happen. The run of the building, Vincent is nowhere to be seen. I jog a bit to the main road until I spot a familiar silhouette. Panel, wait, your coat! Ah, thank you, you didn't have run. I will not come back for it later. It didn't seem like it. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. I, I, I have a feeling he's gonna kill himself. Vincent covers his mouth with his hand, hiding the surfacing motion. Hey, <laughs> is that so? Mind if I walk with you for a bit? Sure. Walk in silence. There's too much in my mind, but I can't put any of it into words. Somehow, we ditched the prom night without really planning to. I don't think anybody's going to look for me today, anyway. We reach a viewpoint on the hill. It's the highest platform in the old town. Deja vu. Vincent is pa panting lightly, exhausted from climbing the stairs. It's pretty high up here, isn't it? I'm not fond of high places. It feels all too familiar for some reason. I feel sick. Yep, it feels familiar to me too. I wonder why, I wonder why. We know how this goes, indeed. And I think, didn't, didn't, uh, uh, didn't uh, Umbrella Man mention in episode 2 that that Vincent dies in all timelines, you know? Something like that. Anyway, I liked him though. Wait, a minute. I liked him though. Even the air here feels clearer. Vincent leans over the fence and inhales the night air. Being above, being above everything, leaving all the noise and commotion down below, don't you feel the same? As long as Vincent lives, you are headed for bad end. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I all forgot, forgot that, right? Don't you feel the same? No. I feel like I, I, I could fall down in a second. Mmm, I see. Oh, are you alright? I crashed down, my head spinning. I'm not alright, it's like we've been there before. It, it's not the same. You, you never talk about anything that really matters, do you? Always all smiles and big talk. Talking, 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 and nothing you say has real weight to it. A sick of your smiling face. What? Ah, I see. Shall I say what you want to hear then? I agree with everything you say, like you always do. 
my personality has nothing to do with this. Does it? I'm led to believe that you're as much of a control freak as I am. No matter how much others worry about you, you decide to shoulder everything on your own. That's because of my, how my mother is. That's because I don't want to be a burden. But for you, it's all about your image. But if I ask for help, who will provide that? You? At the very least, I listen to what you have to say. You just don't, you just don't trust me enough. You don't trust anyone. This is ice clean with ice. The only one who sees a problem in it is you, Eilar. You're not the solution to my problems. Neither, neither am I to yours, even though you seem to think otherwise. Needless, needles and knives. His words pierce, pierce through, but I don't falter. I know. Yet, I want to understand you. It's not your fault that I don't. You're someone I've always looked up to. You could do things I couldn't, and find the right words to influence others. It always fe felt like your opinion mattered. I crouched down and faced the ground, suddenly flustered. I... I thought I wouldn't mind losing my individuality if it... If it had meant getting influenced by yours. Vincent's gaze becomes absent-minded. I'm a bit envious. I'm no one like that. There's only only myself. Always has been. I'm no role model. And I have a hard time finding a reflection of myself in other people. It's like standing on the other side of a one-way mirror. But I don't think of others as inferior to myself. In fact, I like people a lot. That's why I try to show it with appropriate words. Language passwords. Just like we just discussed once, remember? Friend, soulmate, partner. These are all very easy to say. The only difference is that while they have a meaning to, meaning to others, these words sound empty to me. I never felt close to anyone. The kind, understanding Vincent found didn't exist until I created them. I remember Vincent in the kindergarten. Emotionally dead kid gathering crowds around them with useless trinkets from popular shows. Popular shows. The only time he ever showed emotion was when he tore up wings from those ants, claiming to be in control. Oh, I, I actually forgot that part. He did, he did, uh, he did uh, kill that. He did, uh, he did rip the wing off that ant one that, that one time. Control. Is that what it's all about? You, you claim that you don't mean things you say. That your personality is fabricated. I don't think you're being entirely honest. You're right. I don't mean it either. Ah, he's insufferable. You... Oh, Vincent, Vincent isn't looking at me. His mind is elsewhere. It's like there's a wall between myself and the rest. Ever since my childhood, I've been trying to break through it by trying to be someone I'm not. Yet it's meaningless. Even if I make it seem like he exists, I can't become him. Deep inside, I must be the same child who laughed at the Ansus wings he tore off. Just because it was the only time when he felt like he was in control of, over someone's life. Because he lacked control over his own. Still, you've been trying your best, haven't you? All this talk about a quiet place. Those bruises. I think it's pretty obvious at this point that whoever you live with, they've been... Assume my own words. They haven't been treating you well. The Vincent, that Vincent I remember was an empty high school person. I just remembered. Like, sometimes his, his mother didn't pick him up. And he had to walk alone, home alone. So, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't even think about that. Like, his, it seems like his parents are mistreating him. Since he's got bruises and stuff. The Vincent I remember was an empty high school person. They have that in common. Yeah. Yeah. But except for the fact that uh, Charles' mother didn't beat him or anything. She was just shouting a lot. So, it, it's... They do have a little bit of common, but it's not entirely the same, you know? Once it's physical, and once it's... Vocally, I guess. Let's see. The Vincent I remember was an empty Husker person. It's like you were never physically there at all. Yet, with time, you were able to regain control over your life. It's not like you became someone whom others look up to overnight. You worked hard for it. Because you care. That's just a life narrative you constructed for me. It's nothing that pretty. I can't be proud of being a hypocrite. Would you rather disassociate for the rest of your life? I don't want that either. Both choices are wrong. There's just no hope for me, is there? Oh god. This life... I already tried to put an end to it. A month ago. Huh? I didn't think much of it. There was something I knew would happen one day or another. Naturally. Yet, I ended up not going all the way. I thought... Ah, I still haven't returned the notebook. I was supposed to put an end to everything. For a ridiculous reason like that, I didn't. My eyes begin to sting, but no tears come out. I... I may be insignificant and frankly boring, 
But I'm going to do my best to become someone you can consider equal. So that you won't feel so alone. I keep doing my best so, so you sigh. And I call my eyes, see Vincent crouching down near me. Putting a hand on my shoulder. Don't push yourself, he says. His gaze coming frozen. You're already doing enough. Empty words and template phrases. Neither of us can find comfort in, your, in each other's words. Neither of us know what to do. I want you to live. Oh, I want you to live, I croak out, not to a corpse. Oh, not to a corpse. Not to an imaginary construct. Not to a vacant shell, but to Vincent Fennel himself. History repeats. I can't see his face. I see, Vincent says simply. No tears, no surprises. That's how Vincent Fennel is. Yet his words sounded almost thankful. Vincent gets up and extends his hand to me. Congratulations on congratulating. Congratulations on graduating, Charles. I reach out and accept his hand. The future still remains uncertain. Yet I feel like I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. The sun rises. A new day must come. The end. Oh, okay, so... That was an abrupt ending. <laughs> Alright. So I'm guessing he didn't kill himself in this ending. That's cool. But we get a happy end after all. Yeah, finally! Woo! Well, now anyways. But it was kind of weird that, like, the fact that... This was supposed to be like a choice. Oh, thank you for playing. Like, wasn't there supposed to be choice and stuff? I don't fucking know. Let me see. Let me just look look at the uh, about. Is it co spin off comic of age kinetic novel? Yeah, the kinetic part didn't happen. Well, <laughs> that's kind of weird. But uh, is that what kinetic mean? Kinetic means? I'm not so sure. Let me see. Let me just. Uh... I'm an idiot. What? What does it mean? A subcategory of visual novels that avert the tradition of having multiple endings and instead of focusing on a singular linear plot. I completely misread that. Ah! I see, I see. Okay, so it's just one ending. Alright, alright. But I still think it's weird the fact that uh, we're going to... Is it help? I think it's weird the fact that it's got a... Wait, wait. What is it here? Let me see. What the fuck? Where is it? What is it in preferences? Yeah, it's kind of weird the fact that you can skip unseen text. Unless you... Or, and after choices, like... Standard Empire stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. I, I was kind of thinking that that was the case, you know? That this is just like... Uh, s s unused uh, stuff from... Uh, Rempy. The, kind of like RPG maker, you know? But yeah, that was kind of nice. Also sound settings, lol. Yeah, kind of weird the fact that... Wait. Oh yeah, sound settings. <laughs> mute all. Alright, let's mute all. There we go. <laughs> the deafening sound of silence. Imagine. Imagine muting someone that's mute, you know. <laughs> kind of weird. But yeah, I like that. It was pretty good. Uh, uh, the only thing I didn't like was... The only thing I will say that I didn't like about this was the ending kind of came abrupt. I felt like there was at least one chapter left or something like that. I, I, I di it didn't feel like that was the ending. It just suddenly looked like, okay, I want to kill myself, and then it just stopped, you know? That was kind of weird, but... Except for that, I liked it, you know? That was pretty good. I don't know, I kind of felt like it had a good lead-up. Yeah, I felt like we were close to the end, but I didn't feel like we were at the ending. Like, uh, I, I kind of had the same problem with the Mori. I felt like the... I felt like the game ended five minutes before it was supposed to end. I'm glad it wasn't as edgy as the diary, with the magazine and all. That was really rough. Yeah, I agree, I agree. The diary was something else. The diary was from the, the version or the, the universe we are used to. Well, this is a different alternate one. But uh, I just felt like there was like five minutes or something left of dialogue or something like that. Diary ended really interesting, but man, that start, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, what was I thinking about now? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, overall I will say that uh, Hello Charlotte is like, yeah, it was pretty good. Kind of confusing storyline, but uh, I think I got the most of it, you know? But I'm definitely gonna look up YouTube videos and see... Um, I will see if I ever look up YouTube videos. It kind of depends, but uh, I kind of want uh, to... I don't know, we'll see. If I will look at YouTube and stuff, but uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. 
Uh, I talked to us all we uh, earlier today and I talked about Night in the Woods and we agreed that um, s- might do the same. Feel like I finally can get it now. Yeah, I feel like I kind of get it, but I feel like there's some stuff that I missed from episode one and two that uh, I need to uh, I need to rewatch to see because I didn't know because it was revealed in episode three that sh- Charlotte in episode one and two was actually Scarlet from episode three, you know. So yeah, a little loop de loop, you know. But uh, yeah, uh, I was talking about uh, streaming uh, Night in the Woods tomorrow at 7 p.m. So uh, yeah, stream tomorrow at 7 p.m. with uh, Night in the Woods. I highly recommend that you uh, at least uh, check it out a little bit, you know. But if you watch if you watch it for like an hour or two and you think that's this is not my type of game, then you don't have to uh, then you don't have to uh, watch it, you know. But I think you like it. Like it's it's kind of like this where you. Uh, walk around and talk to people. There aren't really any puzzles, though. But it's two-dimensional. So you just walk from left to right. I know, I had a friend who was raving about it, but I kind of forgot. Yeah. I would say it's kind of like Life is Strange, but you remove the cringy part. You know, if that makes sense. You take Life is Strange and remove the cringy part and make all the characters good instead of only one or two. In Life is Strange, there's only like one or two good characters, in my opinion. But uh, in Night and Woods, all of them are be- beautifully re- written, in my opinion, and really relatable. Never played that either, haha. <laughs> yeah, but sounds pretty good. Yeah, I highly recommend just checking it out. So, yeah, 7 p.m. tomorrow, I'll stream it. And uh, again, I haven't played this in 2017. I-, I do know the story, but I don't remember all the dialogue, you know. I was in the GPU. Oh, I haven't, I haven't installed it yet. <laughs> I'm going to install it afterwards. Most likely. Oh, um, yeah, I, I'm probably gonna install it afterwards. Because, uh, uh t- yesterday it was like, uh, oh, fucking hell. Yesterday, I was almost, what was I done with the stream yesterday? It was like, wasn't it like uh, half an hour before midnight or something like that? So I was like, I'm too tired to install it. I only got home, I was really tired, so I went to bed. And then I woke up, took a shower, and then I came here, you know. So I haven't installed it yet. <laughs> yeah, it was late. Yeah, exactly. So. I wasn't in the mood mood of installing it because I think I have to I think I have to uninstall the current drivers, then remove the graphic card, then install it, and then install the new drivers, you know. Like I have switched graphics card before, you know. Let me just sell that. Are you on a, are you on an MD card? Uh no. Nvidia. 10 1080 Ti. I'm on a 1080 Ti. All right, 1080 Ti. Yeah, I, but as I said, I bought an AMD card last year, but it was defected. You know, it was there was something wrong with it. It should be fine if you just update your drivers beforehand. Yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, look up what I'm supposed to do. I'm I'm, I'm unsure. Like when I up, that's what I did. 1070 to oh 1070 to the Ti. No issues. Okay, okay. But uh, I I remember when I upgraded from uh, my first graphics card was the GTX 680. And uh, when, I, when I upgraded from that to a 1080 Ti, I don't remember uninstalling the, the driver, but I think I read somewhere that you should do it. And a 670, nice. My brother had a 690. Oh no, no, he had a 590. 590. Right, I forgot. So, yeah. I actually had a 2680. I actually had two 680s. Oh, first I had one 680, but then... Like two years later, my brother sold his 680 to me for like 50 euros or something like that. So then I had them in SLI, you know. Only if you're switching brands or coming off an unsupported card. Yeah, okay, okay, like that, yeah. But I'm actually switch- switching brands because I've got Evga right now. Or is it EVGA? Yeah, I got Evga. EVGA. And I'm switching to Asus, Asus, you know. So, yeah, but we'll see, we'll, we'll see. As in switching chip maker. Ah, okay, okay. Switching brands. Yeah, I see, I see. That'll be fun. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Switching brands between AMD and Nvidia. That's what you're talking about. I see, I see, I see. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go and take a shower, and then I'll uh, install most likely install the graphics card, or maybe I'll, or maybe I'll. Ah, fucking hell! I, I gotta do it, man. I gotta install the new graphics card. Like, I'm really lazy. With, like, I love once I stop building PCs and stuff. I love doing it, but. It's just getting up and doing it, you know? Like, not la- I think it was, it was 2020 or 2021, I upgraded my computer, like bought a new case, 
motherboard, RAM, and CPU, you know? Like, I took the old GPU and hard drives and put it into this one. But everything else was brand new. But I was like, eh, I don't feel like building it yet. But but uh, once I start, it's uh, pretty fun. I have a feeling. I have my rack mounted on rails, so pulling it out is a nightmare. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, not mm, rack mounted, what do you mean? Do you mean, what do you mean rack mounted? In, inside like a computer, computer rack? Is that what? Is that it? On rails, so putting it as a nightmare. Not sure what you mean by that. Oh, 90 inch equipment rack. Often used for audio and networking gear. I'm a PC in one. Oh, nice, nice. We, we use them uh, when, when I'm installing uh, like fiber optics, uh, fiber optic in uh, in business, uh, in, in other business firms, you know. They, they have like 19 inch racks, you know. That's usually where I install their install the equipment and stuff, you know. It's it's pretty rare for private people to have 19 inch racks, but uh, that's cool. I think I saw PewDiePie have one in in his like PC setup video in like 2016. He had a PC rack or, or like 19 19 inch rack that was like just as tall as he was, because he had this he had every console and his computer inside of it, and one with uh, a little counter on top, counter top on top, TV sets on top of that. Super compact, I can stuff all my gear into it. Nice, nice. I probably kind of want a computer rack, but I think it's for for my use. It might be a little bit overkill. So I th I think it's good enough for me to have a low voltage uh, closet to have uh, to have like uh, 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 now I'm talking about the fiber optic equipment. You know, uh, having the fiber optic equipment the low voltage. Uh, uh, what the fuck do you call it again? El electrical box. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna do it this way, because I've got a bunch of audio gear in it, too. Ah, I see, I see, I see. All the same size, so it's convenient. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, understandable. So, yeah, I don't think I need... Uh, I don't think I need a 19-inch track. But... Uh, yep, yeah, it's now 10.30pm. Like, holy shit, this stream is 3 hours and 70 minutes. This, this is 2 hours more than I, than I imagined it being. Like, holy shit. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the stream there. We're done with uh, Hello Charlotte. It was pretty fun, pretty fun, pretty unique story. Th thanks for streams. These were a lot of fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh, and one thing I realized was the fact that this kind of reminded me of Kingdom Hearts. Like I, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts by the way, but I've seen some story summaries, and it's just pretty convoluted storytelling, you know. But I still enjoyed it, you know. I didn't understand everything, which I assume Kingdom Hearts. People, uh, I, I've seen people who play, play King House also don't understand the story completely, but it's still enjoyable, you know? So, uh, yeah. I think I saw Dunkey's video about, uh, he, he was basically explaining the whole lore of King of Hearts in four minutes. And at first I thought it was trolling, but then you check the comments and they're like, nope, he's not trolling, this is actually the story, and it's, it's actually magical the fact that he was able to tell it in four minutes. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Let me see. I should watch that. Yeah, yeah, it's a four minute video. It's it's pretty fun. <laughs> because it's, I think it's, he has, he has like one joke in there, and that's close to the end, but that's it. Everything else is 100% uh, can in the Kingdom Hearts universe. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna end the stream now. And then we're gonna stream tomorrow at 7 pm, Night in the Woods. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be nostalgic for me, so I haven't played for almost five years. And there's, as, as I said, there's some uh, gameplay updates. Like, not, not gameplay specific, but like mini games and stuff, you know. So that'll be interesting to see. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channels, Little Lesbian and Little Lesbian Vance. And follow my Twitch at Little Lesbian. And see ya. Bye bye. Hello.